This is where the fun begins. This is where the fun begins. This is where the fun. This is where the fun. This is where the fun begins. Who's the big guy with the muscles? This is where the fun begins. Who's the big guy with the muscles? Hello, everybody. Welcome to Toy Anxiety. Hope you're having a wonderful week. It's almost Christmas. Whoa, it is. It's almost Christmas. Yeah. 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 We're live here on a Tuesday night, every Tuesday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Hey, are we doing a show next week? Are we taking like a, are we giving ourselves a Christmas break? Is Christmas on Monday or Tuesday? Monday. It's on Monday. On Monday. Oh, we'll probably do toy anxiety. I got I got nothing to do day after Christmas unless I get some really good presents and play sets I have to put. Yeah, together. I'll be off. Uh we'll figure it out. Maybe we'll, if if somebody wants to edit together, maybe a, a best of, we'll, we'll play that. But otherwise, we'll we'll be there. We'll do a so clip, maybe we didn't sir. have it spaced out in time to be like, oh, it's I'd like that time we did this, and then we like. Yeah, I'd pre-record like, that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we'll be there. Y'all want to? I'd do it. Hey, I hope everybody's having a great week. We got some fun. We got a packed show tonight. Lots to talk about. We got mm-hmm. Ghostbuster stuff to get to, uh, and then a little bit later on, our good friend Attack Peter from Mondo Mr. is Attack. Gonna, Mr. Attack's going to be joining us uh, to talk about all the Mondo reveals that happened over at DesignerCon um and uh, it's gonna be great so lots to cover tonight we have a giveaway i'll talk about in a couple of minutes we'll say hi to the chat let's go ahead and introduce all of our co-hosts that's what we got to do ryan dole i would normally say all the way from vancouver british columbia but you're on the farm where are you these days i'm on the farm craig sent him out to the farm they sent me out to the farm out to the pig pen yeah funny corralling horses (laughs) <laughs> all that fun stuff no mm-hmm. well yeah i'm back i'm back at the farmhouse uh but yeah still got to work movies got to be made and uh someone's got to do it there's barely any snow like why did i even come back i come back for minus 50 at night wind chill and snow right now it's like minus eight it's a little bit of snow a lot of brown <laughs> just i'm not digging this at all but I'm still in the mood for Christmas because my mom's been baking for the last two days. Oh, nice. And it's been amazing. Oh, and there was more, like, my mom, my parents found, like, more stuff to my uh, uh, Eternia as well. <laughs> uh, but one thing I did find out about it, because it's been, like, kind of, like, outside in a shed for, like, many of years. Yeah. Like, over 20 years at this point um yeah everything's brittle as fuck uh so i gotta be like super duper careful with a lot of it uh but man it's been awesome like i even pulled out my old rgb firehouse uh but it's dirty yeah i need to clean it uh otherwise i would have took photos of it and i was gonna get someone else to and you know what life got busy (laughs) it's okay (laughs) problem solved later we'll get to that in a bit uh But no, like I'm super, I'm super excited. It's just like, I don't know. I just, now I feel like I'm just home and it's just like, I'm home is good. It's just, it's nice. I like being home. I think next year you guys should all join me just to hang out at my parents' house on the farm. Dude, I imagine your mom's just like in the kitchen baking and like the little smell things are going through the house and you have to like sniff them. Yeah, just float. Yeah. Yeah. The smell. The little twirly seams that come off of bacon to show that there's like. There's Ryan, I'm not food in the air. Ryan, I'm not coming over till you put a poster up on that fucking wall or something. <laughs> nope. nope. Oh, dude, yeah, I know. There's some posters you could put up. Actually, there's, there's one right there. there. What, what is it? Like uh, Spider Verse. Uh, Spider Verse. It's not there. even hanging on the wall. It's leaning against the wall. Ah, oh, whatever. You know what? Oh man, <laughs> this isn't where I sleep. This is That's just where true. I. This is just where I work. And podcast. Mm-hmm. Well, Ryan, I'm mm-hmm. glad that you're having a good time. Glad uh, your mom's baking, and uh, yeah, just uh, just keep keep on doing doing all that. 
because I want to go home, but I am home. But I wish I had another home where people were baking. But that's, that's what I said. Just come over next year. Uh, Jacob Walsh, what's up, man? Hey, I'm I'm good. Having a good, chill day. I took tomorrow off of work. Oh, I love that for you. Fucking <laughs> thing tomorrow. Well, that's not true. I do have stuff to do, but it won't be work. So there you go. Um, and uh, are you baking anything? Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you go. You? Yeah. I can't. That's okay. We Fuck baked. No. We made cookies I once. Mean, yeah. We'll warm and serve. I'm not sure. They're like the baking family. <laughs> we'll warm and Let's serve. Let's be honest. Yeah. Uh, Abigail, I mean, how are you? Listen, I like cooking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do, but I'm not going to do it tomorrow. It's my day off. Tomorrow's your day off. Yeah. Yeah. I went to my uh, work party and uh, it was like a, a big family meal and i brought donuts from dunkin nice. donuts because i did not want to cook or bake yeah. anything and you you're that person. yeah i was i was like yeah don't make fun of me everyone's getting donuts you're gonna like it who you're doesn't have want later. donuts it's great you should have hey, brought craft dinner um listen i was gonna say this um i'm thinking i want to take tomorrow off too because i really want to think about my 2024 toy collecting habits and i want to like really map out my my strategy my plan Dude, um, we got to be tight this year or next year. Yeah. We got Japan coming up. No yep. toys. It's no toy 2024. Oh, <laughs> Week- sweet. Okay. Week- <laughs> weekly pickups are going to suck. <laughs> yeah, show's canceled, folks. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. Um, well, cool. So let's let's say hi to the chat. Hey, Jacob, we got 165 people watching tonight. and We have a giveaway. Uh, we have a donation from our good friend Skylar Davis. Uh, he is donating... The new Star Wars retro uh, Sabine and Chopper figures for for a giveaway tonight. Ooh, um, cool! How many how many likes do we have to have on the video to on to unlock? For Sabine, There's only one hundred and sixty five watching. Yeah. You we know don't, the, we don't, we don't unlock the giveaway for that. We just <laughs> uh, we gotta uh, hit at least. Uh, I don't know. That's not a good number. I'm gonna say one ninety. All right, 190. If we hit 190 likes, we'll unlock the giveaway. Let's go ahead and say hi to the chat. Let's start off with a super chat already. Well, first off, we got J Rod member for 16 months and Jason Grahoski member for 16 months. Thank you so much. Oh, Matt Bush, you. $20 super chat. A donation has been made in your names to the human fund. Money for people. Thank you. Thank you oh, thank, thank you. you. That's very yeah. generous. Oh, I love that. I love Seinfeld. Actually, we're four days away from Festivus. So. Keep that in keep that yep. in mind, folks. Got a lot of problems with grievances. you people. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're not airing any grievances. We all know challenge what, someone to a fight. We all know what happened on the Thanksgiving episode. Shit went shit went south fast. Um <laughs> all right. Charlie Weaver is here. Dora Lax and hello, Jose Carlos Rivera Jr. <laughs> oh, that's a great name. Thanos Copter. Davy Sockrocker, Stanley Everhard, Blue Chainsaw Man, also 16 months, Cone Filler Confusor. <laughs> Uh, Christopher Alleron, um, Alarcon, sorry, Toy Geekosaurus, Skylar Davis, uh, who donated the giveaway tonight. Brock Parker, JD Raymer, uh, Septimus Prime is here. Johnny Cock, Brick Something, Zach, uh, Kinsella, Lawrence Dwayne, Jessica Parker, Michael Miller, Paul Morales, No Chewing. I love these names. This is always fun. Uh, Flash is here. And so on and so on. Gady's Toys, uh, Derek Hoover. Thank you guys for all hanging out here. We know that uh, there's a lot going on this time of year. People are traveling. People are seeing family. So the fact that you're spending time with us on a Tuesday night to talk about toys, that's awesome. Hey, I just want to say I think it's very funny that, uh, you know, we all we all know Brock Parker personally. And he's he's kind of a, you know... You know, he's a straight laced man. He's, yeah. he's, he's, you know, chill mm-hmm. in his way. He's neat and he's got very yeah. good hair. Yeah. But, yeah. but, but listen, Clean he cut. Enjoys, he enjoy, he knows he can come here and be, you know, as crazy as he wants to. <laughs> Brock this, Parker. It's not church, bro. Because yeah. he knows. He <laughs> Does Jessica wife. Parker know? Mm hmm. <laughs> The Parkers come out to have fun, and we yeah, like hey, that. Well, yeah. Thank you to the Parkers. They sent me a, um, a vintage uh, Land Before Time Littlefoot plush that they found. At a, it's not in this room, or I would show it, but it's like this big Land Before Time 
That's vintage. awesome. Uh, yeah. They, Sounds they like found, something you'd like. They said, yeah. let's get that. So Very I cool. Appreciate- that's really great. I meant Brock. I meant <laughs> seventy. <laughs> also, hey, I wanted to show Thomas Crosby. I left my work uh, Christmas party early to talk toys, and I ever like. Hey, seventy's great, man. It's sixty nine plus one. How can I get an amen? <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> oh, all right. I Oof. thought it sounded good in my head. <laughs> all right. So, like I said, we got some stuff to talk about tonight. So keep those likes coming. We appreciate it. Um, I have no pickups this week, so I will defer to the rest of the crew. Who's got pickups this week? Not I got him. one. One for you. I got two. Jacob. Jacob, do you want to start us off? Sure. Um, I I bought this really weird toy um last week, and it 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 does need a little bit of explanation, especially um for you guys. Uh, but there, uh, it, it's a it's a mashup. First of all. I don't usually go for mashups. Right. But this one was just ridiculous enough for me to want to pick it up. To go for um, it. And it's from a it's from a company called Nekasatsu Toys. Uh, and they only made three of them. I got one of three. Like number one out of the three. It was a pain in the ass trying to get it. The website <laughs> was like, took me an hour. Craig, I told you about this. Yeah, I heard about it while it was happening. Mm-hmm. I was so annoyed. I thought I'd lost it forever. Um, but the mashup is between, uh, there's this uh, old um, Tokusatsu show called Ultra Q, and it came before Ultraman, but it's got a lot of like the DNA of Ultraman in it. Mm-hmm. It feels kind of like, Ultraman and Godzilla mixed with like the X Files kind of show. It's silly Ooh. and it's really fun. But there's a character in there called Garamon, and he became pretty popular and went on to uh, star in Ultraman and some other things. And I do want to show you a, a Garamon toy just so everybody knows. This is not a new pickup. I just want to show you everybody what Garamon looks like. Okay. He is. Oh, him. Okay. I've recognized yeah. him. Like, I love it. He's, he's got a little dent in him, but. He's just one of the coolest uh, yeah. guys of all time. Um, so the mashup is between Ultra Q and Star Wars for some reason. What? It, like, doesn't make a ton of sense to me, but the first figure in the mashup is uh, Garamon and Chewbacca. <laughs> and I was okay. like, I was like, I gotta have this. So I was mm-hmm. able to, I was able to get it. And this, and here he is. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! That's it's cute. the perfect blend of cute and scary <laughs> and weird and off-putting and also cute again. Yeah, and Look his name that. is Bakamon. So I, I got it. I got Bakamon. And it's got the little. I don't know if you can see, but it's got the little one of three on the bottom oh, of his. Wow. Uh, That's there. awesome. I want to decorate not, my tree with those. I'm not sure what the rest of these mashups are going to look like, but. This was just one I, I was not gonna pass up. Yeah. <laughs> I like that kaiju are Star Wars fans too. I mean, yeah. this is a really good mm-hmm. opportunity for fun, someone to finally make the, the Mon Mothra. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh I yeah. Mean, Mothra doesn't exist in Ultra Q, but oh Saint... it's only gonna be Ultra Q. I thought it was gonna maybe be different well, kaiju. I mean that's what I think, but who knows? There this is the first one. Like they they call it Ultra Wars, so I'm guessing it's just going to be Ultra okay. and um and Star Wars. But yeah, I had to pick him up. That's awesome. Girl can dream. Yeah, that's really cool. 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 Uh, do you want to go ahead and do your second pickup? Yeah, I can do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, there's a there's a there's a guy on uh, Instagram goes by Sad Salesman. <laughs> puts out these really cute figures, kind of uh, these vinyl toys, and um. Uh, I just, I had, I had to get this guy. Um, oh, it's a, I saw him on your Instagram. Aww, he's the best. He's got the little leg. You know, I thought that was a cigarette at first. And I was like, Jacob wouldn't want that, but it's a leg. What? The leg? The little thing he's holding. Yeah, I could, I couldn't tell from a distance. Yeah. Severed leg. I don't know how well this is coming through. I know my lights a little, but uh, yeah, I just thought this thing was awesome. I had to buy it. And he puts out other figures that are like the exact same mold, but other animals and stuff. So, I have the alligator version of this on pre-order. <laughs> Good for it's you. The exact same thing, but it's an alligator. And it, I like how it's got this so it can sit on the end of a, you know, send on the end of a shelf. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's my pickups for uh, for this week. Very nice. Cool. 
That was that's awesome. Those are those are really fun. Mm-hmm. It's fun, fun and yeah. unique. Yeah, I like those. Well, cool. Uh, Abigail, you have something, correct? Yeah, I've got a. I got something. Um, Wait, while it. she's grabbing that, we have yeah. 195 people watching, which means wow. everyone should be hitting that like to unlock the prize yes. for 190. Yeah. So yeah. Look how far we've come. And also, real quick, I want to give a huge shout out to to Jeremy Gerard, who joined us last week from Four Horsemen Studios. We talked oh, Mythic yeah. Legions. It was a really fun conversation. If you haven't seen it, go back to last week. I'm part of the cabal now. I'm in the Facebook group. These people are so nice that it's actually stressing me out. They're a little too nice. We don't like, but we like that. Here. No, yeah, I'm like, I'm not. I'm used to being in Ghostbusters groups where a new poster comes out, and for some reason, everybody starts screaming at each other. So, well, I'm gonna join that group just so I could ask someone who's got a spare moose because I'm <laughs> right. hunting this goddamn moose <laughs> everywhere is sold out. So I'm yeah, looking for that so. moose. That was a lot of fun. Uh, That's great. And yeah, uh, so much respect for a community like that where people are like egging each other on and um, encouraging each other to buy more. And, and I've been cool. circling that that new Mythic Legions pre-order. It's all in. It's $500, but it, it's like 12 figures and accessories. And I feel like if you're going to dive in, go to the deep end. Nobody wants to put their toes in the water. Oh, that's all I'm doing. I'm a puss. <laughs> uh-uh, I'm dude. scared of the water, man. It ain't happening. <laughs> that's funny. Um, all right, Abigail, what do we got here? Sure. Um, all right. I I told you all that I was at a work function or that I was working recently. And um, <clears throat> we did a secret Santa exchange. And this was my first such secret Santa. You've never uh, done a secret no, Santa No, as a, as a homeschooler. Whatever. Yeah. And like, I've, I've never participated in Why are in we doing Santa. that as part of the like, no. anxiety listeners? Have that we would not be done really- that before? They're usually pretty disappointing, but I'm I'm happy to hear Abby that you had a good yeah. Experience. Excuse me, yeah, they are usually disappointing, but like the person who was running it, um, found really good like in depth question cards that everyone had to fill out who was participating. That's so cool. like, it goes deep into like your favorite beverage. Are you a chocolate person? Are you a candy person? Um, like what's your favorite genre of uh? Do you prefer books or movies? Like all, it was a lot of good questions. So there was good criteria for folks to. Um, to build off of. And I actually had a really fun time shopping for my uh, secret Santa. So that, that was fun. Um, None of that is really show related stuff, but it just, it made me really happy to participate in that. Um, But then when I got this uh, yesterday, I was really excited. You'll see on the bag here. I wanted to point this out. uh, Mother load is the name that you see on a sticker and Jacob, it's a new toy store. It's like an antique store that we didn't know about. It's new to us. Yeah. So that's part of the gift is that there's a new spot to go to. They built us a store. They, yeah, I think it's probably been in Decatur for a long time. It's just an area we never really went to. So next time you're up, definitely hit it. Um, well, but hey, yeah. Hmm. Up for my birthday, we'll go. Yes. So Let tomorrow it, and tonight. Right, we'll go right tonight now, and right tomorrow. Now, right now. And every day. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, so shout out to Jocelyn. I don't know if she's watching. Probably not. She's probably working. But thanks so much to her <laughs> for being a super sweetie and picking me out this uh, Shadows of the Empire, excuse me, Star Wars Boba Fett and IG-88 figure set that comes with the comic book. Um, the, You can see on the back, like, the rest of the set, which as I was at work, I was, like, dutifully reading all of this. And, I mean, um, I've got a bunch of the Shadows of the Empire figures. Yeah, but this I... It's basically for me. No, it, well, it's for both of us, but it's also, like, <laughs> that's fucking cool that somebody, like, got me a, a action figure. Um, yes. So thank you, and it's cool to show off, and it's something I don't own. Um, and just even opening a bag and seeing Star Wars like come out of the bag, I was like, oh, I'm kind of reinvigorated. I wish I got more Star Wars stuff in general. So this you is awesome. That? You hear yeah. that? I just said, do you hear that? She wishes she got more Star Wars stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's I'm all look- I'm saying. Making I'm sure look- you are listening to your wife's needs. Yeah. I mean, I'm, there's I so much needs. fucking Star Wars stuff. There's more Star Wars stuff in this house than anything, <laughs> including I'm- Ghostbusters. There could be more. Yeah, literally behind me is like everything from episode one. Yeah. Um, well, that's uh, really cool. Shadows of the Empire. So, yeah, Shadows Canon of the Empire. Me, awesome. Probably. Love it. Love getting yeah. something that was tailored for me. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Where's my toy? Dude, here's the <laughs> funny part. I thought that the exchange was like, I was like, is this like a plus one thing? I was like, I'm going to bring Craig. They were like, no, nah, this is like a small. I'm like, guys, I don't know. I don't know what like social parties are. Yeah. Um, but it was a lot of fun for me. And I had a good time. That's awesome. I like those comic packs. Those are really cool. Very, very 90s and very mm-hmm. awesome. And mm-hmm. we don't get stuff like that anymore. So Two topical characters as well. Yeah. <laughs> Who is it? Boba Fett and IG-88? Yeah, Boba Fett and IG-88. Love it. 
absolutely yeah thank you all for your support cool um all right so let's get into some ghostbusters talk because we actually have um we've got some stuff to talk about so this kind of leaked out last week and we weren't sure if we we're supposed to talk about it but then uh emily at hasbro confirmed it so we have our first uh look at new ghostbusters toys hitting uh for 2024 um new Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, chill out they're new okay ryan not everybody lived on a farm where parents were just <laughs> yeah we didn't grow up on the kenner farm we need you to chill out for a few minutes yeah 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 chillaxinate for a second uh no this is gonna be fun so this is let me um let me share my screen here so first of all um this is going to be kenner fright features uh this is the next uh release in the uh and the garage sale series right is that what we're calling fucking it fucking damn it <laughs> somebody needs to get ryan dole media training <laughs> all right here we go uh so we He's had busy the, didn't you hear we had the retro releases in 2020 with the uh first wave of kenner real ghostbusters ecto one some ghosts and things like that and now the fright features are back um four of the five are back so no janine we can maybe speculate why. Boo. I, I don't. Hasbro hates women. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> gonna, just gonna ban him. Well, gonna ban Todd him. McFarlane has explained uh, everything to us. Yeah, you don't this. want your kid getting straight A's, and then yeah. they get a Janine figure and, and, and you leave have a home. Killer on your hands. <laughs> they leave home. <laughs> um. All right, so Jacob, I'll start with you, uh, and I'll, I'll cycle through some of the pictures. And by the way, shout out to the artist. He's been posting on Instagram. Uh, his name is Harry Moore, who is uh, – he redesigned all of the pa original packaging art. Oh, cool. Um, so very, very cool, and he's been posting. Uh, but, yeah, let's – um. whoops, spoilers. Uh, <laughs> that's for later. Let's talk about uh, Fright Features. Um, we don't have any releases yet for the new movie. Uh, but this is our first new Ghostbusters product in a while. So, uh, Jacob, start us off. Well, I think it's good to just have Ghostbusters releases in general. Um, while re-releasing the original stuff is not, like, the thing that gets me super pumped about it, I'm still probably going to pick them up. I, I think it's a good thing. I don't think it – I think we probably had this talk last time when the, when the other real Ghostbusters figures came out. But I think having all of this time passed, we can we can look back and see that like the original figures are still, you know, you're still paying. Craig, I don't know what you paid when you bought them from Jay, uh, so I don't know what you're. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I I gave them four hundred bucks. And I, I don't think wanna... it really hurt that market that much for the vintage versions. And also, I don't care if it does. So it, right. it doesn't bother me. I know Ryan. I know it annoys you a little bit though, that they're putting out re-releasing. It's, a, it's not that they're uh... annoying me that they're re-putting this stuff out. Because again, I'm like you. I don't really give a fuck about the secondary market value with these. Yeah. Because I don't think I find that those first few waves aren't that expensive to begin with. Like I still think they're moderately. They're not like cheap, not but I bad. still find them moderately affordable. It's mm -hmm. the I would rather have new toys in this. Sure. Store. I mean, I mean, here's the thing. I would too. We all would, but but it's the it's 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 kind of a this stuff is easy to to reproduce and it's easier for them to put this out and it's kind of the the thing where you have to be like, well, it's either this or nothing. There right. it's just the the market isn't there for them to be doing brand new vintage real Ghostbuster figures like for That's what I said about Walmart or Target or something like that. What'd you say? That's what I said about He Man. Well, here's yeah, the thing: he is not He Man is on a different level than Ghost. It is. Ghost <laughs> Listen, I love Ghostbusters. I mean, more the kids want He Man. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I love it more than anything, but it is just not as popular as He Man. So, as far as toys go, I think there's a couple. Uh, that's great input. I think there's a couple of ways to look at this. Like, we are, we're we're literally. Even though, like on paper, we should be the core demographic for this release, we're actually not um but we are because we're all gonna buy them but they're not this is not to, this is to appeal to the general ghostbusters fan for for me 
what's exciting is I'm going to buy them and leave them on card because I don't have original fright features on card because they're very expensive these days. I mean, they used to be fairly affordable, but maybe a hundred to 150 a piece in good condition, maybe more. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, Again, I think this is for the general audience. You, you're walking through Walmart. You're walking through Target. You see these. It's nostalgia. It, it's good for the brand. It's real Ghostbusters, which is really cool because you don't see that much of it. Um, I don't think it's any secret that I think the toy industry is about to have a seismic shift. I really do. Like, Oh, yeah. The bubble's about to burst. The bubble is bursting. The post... Yeah, the post pandemic the, reality, the post pandemic reality of modern toys, the prices. I mean, guys, if you Jacob, I don't know how it is by you, and, and but I can speak by us. If I go to Walmart or Target, everything is peg warming right now. Every yeah. line. It's the same. It's the same here. And I think this is probably a conversation for either later on in the episode or a completely different episode. But the bigger some of the bigger companies are going to it's going to be hard for them because they kind of look at toys in a different way than a company say like Mondo, who is really like in there with it. They're all collectors. They know what people want and they are doing something different to, yeah. uh, right. You, know, you can say the same thing about like NECA and super seven as well, who do those slightly yeah. more premium mm -hmm. figures. Yeah. yeah. It's like in-house passion. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. So I think, but, but you know, we'll, Listen, it's heartbreaking for what, what happened to all those Hasbro employees last week. Mm -hmm. um, and we want to make sure that we're sending out a love and a huge shout out to anybody who's affected by that. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh, it's a bummer um, and uh, it's an unfortunate reality of, of a big corporation. But I th personally, I'm really excited about this because this is the first sign that, hey, there's more Ghostbusters toys coming. I will yeah. be buying all of these. Mm -hmm. Um Abigail, of these ones being released, what, who's your favorite? Which one do you like the most? Uh, let me see them all. And, of course, I am sorely lacking Janine and would love to see Janine and will protest and whatever all I right. have to do. So we have uh, Vankman with the gruesome twosome ghost here. Mm -hmm. Vankman's nice. Vankman's nice. Maybe not my, my front runner, though. Um, he's got the cool yellow vest thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got Ray. These Jacob, these are all very iconic action yeah. figures. I, I, I like Ray. Yeah, I think I have three of these carded in my uh I have a big like Tupperware bin of toys that need to be opened and I think this whole set is in there somewhere just like waiting for me to open them. Right. Winston and then of course uh Fright Features Egon. Oh shit, that's my secret favorite. Yeah. The that's like iconic fashion too, the turquoise and the red with white. It's yeah. Great. I'm going to break all those fucking ties. <laughs> right. You say you're going to every store and I'm going to push the bubble. I'm going to snap all the ties. Do a video. And I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to start a TikTok challenge. Snap that tie. Hey, Ryan. <laughs> I'm going to break all these ties. Snap, ka -tap, ka -snap, ka -snap, ka -snap. Um, and then secondary market will go, value will go up on these because it'll be the rare one to get one intact. That's funny. Mm -hmm. Also, um, the chat's behind us on the uh, Where's Janine and Justice for Janine. Justice yeah. for Actually, can I can I say something about the the no Janine thing and why it bums me out? Yeah, sure. sure. Because when this when this second wave hit, uh, I remember it super clearly as a kid, and I was the most excited about getting a Janine because it it helped kind of like complete the team. It was the first Janine figure, yeah. yeah, right. And I remember being like, "That's that's the one I got. I need to find." And the, when I got Janine, it was like such a big deal. Right. Or me, mm -hmm. because it was like, that's it. Like now we've got everybody. And, uh, but yeah, this, this wave actually, I'll be honest too. This wave has me more excited than that first re-release wave. Me too. Yeah. I think because so. this is now where we're getting into like, these are really to like, these are very toyy toys with gimmicks that, that classic Kenner gimmicks. And, uh, yeah, pink toys. totally. So yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm happy <laughs> with this. And, the ghosts with this series set as well. Uh, jail jaw ghost. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Right. Gruesome twosome. Awesome. Like all these, all these ghosts to me as well, but all the, the secondary Ooh. costumes, Ray and his goggles. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a good wave. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's such a good wave that I actually, I feel I need to speak on this. Um, 
the Fright Features Janine costume is kind of one of the things that brought me into the Ghostbusters community. Yep. I did the costume. I can't even, it's taking too long for me to scroll down in my Instagram to find it, but I'll post it maybe on like our uh, oh, so white. This hey, this oh, is funny. I think, I think Steve Harvey made you delete it. <laughs> no, that was my, that was the stock costume from Saga. Oh. Hey, that one's <laughs> Davy Sockrocker. A man was arrested today in Ottawa for breaking Ghostbusters toys at Target. The man kept screaming, Nobody wants these. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ryan Toll. I'm gonna break all these ties. I love that. Oh um, I'm just gonna break all these ties. They're eh? just gonna go right in there. All the targets, all the toys, yeah. asses. To finish my story. Ties. These aren't so, exclusive anywhere, are they? Because I see them for pre-order. Already at ecollectibles.com, which is okay. a Canadian toy website. So mm -hmm. I haven't got they haven't made an official announcement, but I don't think these are gonna be like a Walmart exclusive. And the reason these leaked, they were they showed up on an eBay listing, I think, in Taiwan. So uh this is why we can't get Star Wars toys at a timely fashion. Because well, it's also secret. Everything's it's a secret. So it's secret, a big guys. secret. Oh, don't tell oh, me. don't you dare. Oh so, don't tell. Don't don't tell anybody. Don't you dare tell anyone. That's yeah. Uh, I don't want to know that character's good. name. Spoilers. <laughs> <That's funny>. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jar Jar is the key. Yeah. Let me finish my story Jar -Jar because I started it. People are mentioning it. Yeah. I did the costume I, and I entered uh, the GB fans costume contest, which is run by AJ quick on GBFans.com, which is your number one resource for all sorts of pack parts. And good also one. just for like finding other people who like Ghostbusters um, or hate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll end up hating it <laughs> and each other. It's great. <laughs> no, all I'm all I can say is that the Fright Features Janine action figure is toyetic and beautiful, and I mm -hmm. replicated it in costume form, and I will share that picture on YHS's social media at some point. And I uh, I got third place. There you go. Hey, so maybe that's why it. Janine's not on the show. You know what we'll you should do for this year for the Dragon Con parade? Huh. Power pack Janine, and we'll build you a little go kart. Okay. Oh, that'd be cool. A little pink go kart. Oh, you I always wanted route. a vehicle for Dragon Con. Yeah, we need to figure out a way to not have to walk in the parade, parade anymore. Yeah, get me <laughs> motorized. <laughs> um, Jacob, anything else on these? Do you, I mean, are you? I'm personally really looking forward to well, any of the Frozen Empire stuff that that is going to come out. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm excited to see. I mean, dude, when when these came out, you know, last year or two years, however long ago that was, mm -hmm. four why, years why? ago. Was it four? <laughs> Almost four years ago. Walking into a Walmart and just seeing a bunch of get, like no matter what toys they are is the best feeling in the world. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah. the purple card backs with the vintage stuff. So I, I'm I'm really excited for the day. What I'm really excited for is when we're gonna be like, fuck, I can't find this one, or I can't find this one. Or what's the very you remember last year they came out with the uh who you gonna call on it, and then they yeah. take off so we were like there's variants and we yeah. all like mm -hmm. can you get me the stay puffed and then like of course they're everywhere you can still buy those at ollie like you can right. go to Ollie's and still get the last run of these so um i'm excited to go through that again yeah it's awesome <laughs> because it's gonna be 2024 we're gonna be buying fright features figures at the store and like that. yeah, yeah we're price, still here by the way. i'm gonna yeah. buy mine at full price i don't care so let me let me pivot this a little bit because we know that the um we know that Frozen Empire figures are going to be coming. Um I think it's safe to assume there's going to be a really nice rollout just like they did for Afterlife. Um but the big thing is that the the Haslab just ended, which was the two in the box, you get the PKE meter and the trap. Extremely successful, I think. They added another tier. It was like 20,000. And I didn't even know about the secret thing they added, which was the Zedmore Industries key card, which was, I, I, I literally didn't know that till yesterday. Mm -hmm. That's how out That's of the cool. loop I've been. I missed it. I missed it. Um, very successful. I and it's, it. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> I missed it. Um, That's from a, Ghostbusters. Okay. <laughs> Two. Ghostbusters two. <laughs> Zed more. I get it. Um, okay. but it's got me thinking about Haslabs in general with Ghostbusters it's and the train. The ghost train. <laughs> the train. Right. I missed it. Um I love what Dan Ackroyd oh, goes. I, okay, yeah. Big as beavers. <laughs> 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 um okay, but this is what I'm saying. I think it's safe to say there there might be another 
uh, HasLab at some point, another Ghostbusters HasLab. And I wanted to kind of do a poll tonight. We're going to we're going to do some chat. Put it to the people. We're going to do some chatting about what we what we want, but I don't I kind of don't want to inform anybody's opinion. So let me do a poll real quick. Do about the poll the first, and then we tell everybody why they're wrong. Yeah, basically. So I'm going to put a poll mm-hmm. in for what oh, do you definitely. what is your ideal? All right, let's see. What is your and we've been doing this on our social media platforms. What is your dream next GB has lab? All right. And there's we're, no other. You can't just can can they add their own category? No, no adding categories. We're 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 gonna go with the most likely scenarios based on our, our market research and expertise. So what do we think? I think um ecto goggles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As a has lab? Do well, uh, do goggles slash Geiga. Ecto goggles yeah. and like a Geiga meter. Like another prop. Yeah. Yeah. Six inch scale ecto one. Um, let's just let what what else do we think could be likely? That's it. it it's really <laughs> those. It's really those two. Like there's yeah. Um, I, they're not going to make us. I don't think a slime blower is no. I don't think that's oh, I, feasible. I think it could be. Yeah, but if I put it in here, everyone's going to vote for it. We know factually it's not. They're not going to make an eight hundred dollars. Oh, the people blower. know. Those are so big. What somebody what? said our house? I don't know. Well, so, yeah. Is that my segue, Craig? Yeah. What is that? So let me here? hold on. I'll I'll put in a real RGB firehouse. I'll just put it in there. Oh, also, uh, Zach says maybe a Stay Puft figure or something. Okay, that, we'll that, add that. Yeah. RGB pack. Okay. That's actually mm-hmm. not a bad one either. Stay Puft. Um. Okay. So let's do this poll. This is market research. We know that Hasbro watches these channels. So let's let's show them what we want. So we got ecto goggles and another prop, six inch scale ecto one, an RGB firehouse and a stay puffed. Um so I'm gonna start the poll. So before we start giving any of our opinions, you guys got a couple minutes to do that poll. There's one more thing I wanted to bring up um non Hasbro mm-hmm. uh that was revealed uh Ghostbusters wise this week and then we'll 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 pop back over and, and we'll start mm-hmm. chatting about this stuff. So um this is from Star Ace. Uh they're doing that new stay puff. They revealed a slimer and they just put up for pre-order their Zool Terror Dog figure. Jacob, I'm gonna let you start off on this one. Um what do you think? It's pretty good. Um I like it. Uh you, you know, I, I don't think it's I don't think it's perfect. Listen, I, uh, I, I, I have talked up Star Ace a lot because I buy a lot of their kaiju stuff. They're they're an offshoot of X Plus, and X Plus puts out the absolute best Godzilla toys possible, like the best things. And then uh, they also do uh, that that Kraken I showed off uh, a while back. Mm-hmm. A lot of old Harryhausen things, and their sculpts look like they're perfectly scanned from the originals so when i found out they were doing ghostbusters i was like holy shit these are going to be amazing and then the stay puff came out and even though i think the stay puff looks really good there's the whole debacle with the mini puffed head i think the slimer is really bad and doesn't look anything like the slimer from the the film Mm -hmm. this is pretty good i think this is uh pretty awesome i will be picking this one up while while I can kind of look at it and I don't think it looks exactly, it looks so super close and it looks, uh, you know, closer than any other terror dog figure we've we've ever had. So I, I I am excited about this one. Two out of three, I guess, isn't bad, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What do you think, Dole? Uh, I dig it. Uh, I probably would not get it. I have the one from Ironwork Studio. Okay. Uh, which is awesome. It looks. I, I think it. I think it's awesome, uh, but these are great. I mean, if you're if you're more of a premium Ghostbusters collector, then I think this this stuff is probably right up your alley. If this is the kind of stuff that you like, uh, but I probably would. I personally probably would not get them. But I do think the Zool. It just I, like Jacob, I think the Zool is the nicest one. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, out of the bunch. I will say this: if though, they were hand puppets, I'd get them. A couple people are pointing this out, and I I didn't want to jump the gun on this, but. Um, that's definitely Vince Clortho. Um, those are the Vince Clortho horns. Um, 
So not a big deal if it's mislabeled, but it kind of it's a head scratcher sometimes how that stuff is. It's like, do you are you guys not doing your that that that's two times they haven't done their research? Yeah, bro. Connect with Jacob Walsh, creature expert. <laughs> like, in my DMs. Consultant. Yeah. That's funny. Let's creature consultant. It. We could fix it. We could still fix Stay Puff, guys. We could fix mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. We can make um, them good. So this is $118.99 up for pre-order. Head to Star Ace. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Again, it's cool that they're they're doing Ghostbuster stuff. So what, what are you gonna what are you gonna do? Um okay. Who, so call? let's uh let's check in on our poll. Um and uh I don't I don't know how to do that. Oh wow, okay. So I'm looking at the results right here. Right now with 72 votes. Come come on guys, vote the poll. Uh 36% for the Ecto 1, 19% for Ecto goggles and another prop, RGB Firehouse 30% and a Stay Puff 15%. So Ecto 1 is in the lead right now, which I'm not surprised. I think our our toy collecting action figure audience really does want a six inch scale ecto one mm -hmm. um but ryan what what you had some thoughts on this i do i was thinking about like what i would want because after the success of this has lab it was really like what what could they possibly do next and go three for three on has labs and maybe not do the props so i came up with my own little picture of what i would want okay so I am going full on with the Ghostbusters firehouse. However, I wouldn't just want to re-release this firehouse. I know a lot of you will probably be like, that's good enough. Just get me a firehouse, but not for me. I expect yeah. more. I want better. I think, I, I think before you go on, I think they could put that firehouse in a Walmart. They could. I agree. Yeah. I do, I do agree Shit with you. Shit would sell. I uh, hey, I bought a fucking Masters of the Universe castle thing i had no idea what it was and i bought it from walmart right so. and this is where i'm getting to as well I, I think even for me this i could see what i'm about to pitch not be a has lab but just because of how things are going i feel like it might turn in it might have to be one and that's that's where i'm going to like lead into with that as well because i what i'm about to pitch i'd rather see in the store so as you can see i do want this firehouse but better i want them to do the origins gray skull thing you see all these books here sculpted right these shelves sculpted that frame mm -hmm. with the picture in it sculpted that firehouse sign the ghostbusters sign sculpted <laughs> right this machinery here sculpted it's like car jack and stuff i want them to be separate accessories uh i would just put add more detail to it maybe make it a little bigger right just excuse me Oh, hey. What's going on? Oh, it's Mr. You can oh. only say sculpt it so many times. I know. It was Jack the shows up. Fucking right? A, bro. Like, how but many times? But it would just times? be like filling in these gaps. I don't know. Just Bullshit. I would just want it to be better, but I'd still want to keep the grates in there for any kind of slime fun, mm -hmm. right? And then, again, all this, I would just do, like, better paint. I would have all these bricks separately sculpted and stuff as well. So, and again, just more details within. And then the the containment unit, I would want it to look more like the one from the cartoon. Right. This would be my stretch goal. We would need a five POA actual Janine. <laughs> yeah. None of this, none of this stupid whatever. I just need this Janine. This would be the way to go. Just, okay. It, Ryan. <laughs> I just need this. I just need, where I did just, you find all of Janine. these like, like, uh, Go. Uh, these are these some like yeah deviant arts like, yeah <laughs> yeah that's it it's from serial geek <laughs> right that's all it was from yeah. cool. and then i would want this lewis tully and as regardless of how hot this janine is i don't want this janine because this janine is still hot i don't care what anyone says right <laughs> okay but this janine is not hot you don't Whoa. want this janine, right once we go past season two <laughs> Real Ghostbusters is pretty much dead oh, yeah. as a franchise, as a brand, as a show. So we're just going to keep it tight. Yeah. Just keep it in the lot. first two seasons. Have the Lewis just because Lewis got his own figures as well in the line. So just a generic Lewis would be fantastic. But that is my pitch. Just like get it. me Janine, Lewis, and Mark. a good 
a really good firehouse. Heck, even maybe throw in a containment unit that looks like this. I love it. Hey, what, what's right? this for? Nice. Well, our guest is here. Nice Nothing. and big. For, for right? our own. Maybe throw in Janine's desk. This is as just a, for as Ryan. Extra feature there Did as he well. do a PowerPoint? <laughs> yeah, I Ryan am doing a, a PowerPoint Ryan presentation. Ryan made a presentation. Yeah, we all, it's impromptu. I, I went all in and said, you know what? If I'm going to try to explain this, I want to have fun. I want to have visuals. I'm actually excited for Ghostbusters for a change. And you guys are all like, eh. No, we're not. What are you talking oh, about? Okay. <laughs> Let me I, enjoy I agree with you, Ryan. But do you want stickers or like do you want to you, get Abby. sculpted? I would take all the Janines. <laughs> no yeah. stickers. Okay, just checking. I was thinking it'd be sculpted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, cool. Sculpted. Uh, hey, uh, Ryan, kill kill your share screen. We have a lot of people watching. Um, they're all looking at a very small picture of Janine. Yeah, uh, they're hey, all the looking way, at a very small picture. That was great, Ryan. And I, listen, if they were to do a six-inch scale, like updated or not a six-inch scale, but an updated uh, RGB firehouse with would you say sculpted? That'd be Sculpted. fucking great. Sculpted. It's, also, it's also a smart move to do Janine and Lewis and just like casual, like that. yeah, mm -hmm. that'd be good. Yeah. Hey, attack yeah. Peter. I had to I had to wear my wife's sunglasses before coming in here because that presentation was fucking brilliant. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh shit! Oh, thank now, you, uh, Mr. Attack. Wow. But um, but now we can get to it. I'm hey, still man. dressed for designer. I can't con. see you with that camouflage on. I'm, oh, I'm, I just landed from designer con. That shit was a war. So we're like just <laughs> yeah. coming in. Hey, really real quick. Cause she'll kill me. I saw her looking. I wanted to real quick. Abby, I, Jason Grahowski sent the picture of your costume. OMG. Thank you for doing that. And we'll, we'll share it so everyone can see um, this. All right. And then we'll talk to Peter and then we'll talk about all sorts of great stuff. All right. So there. Can everybody see that? Yeah. There yeah. it is. There's your That's your awesome. fright feet. This is what Pretty Hasbro's cool. not doing for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they the should. Fifth, the fifth figure. It doesn't fit in the box. Yeah. It's too much. All right. Good job. Peter, Thank what's you. up, man? How Thanks, are you? Jason. I got some pickups. <laughs> okay. Let's First see. First of all, em. look at this, dude. Whoa. Whoa. You, uh, you I was these? just talking about puppets. Cool. Mm -hmm. Do you guys remember this place called South of the Border when you would drive from like Miami all it's, the way to, to South? It's in New South York. Carolina. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. They used to sell cool stuff like this. And that's how yeah. we would stay quiet in the car. All right. That's not my real pickup. Check this out, dude. I just came back from Designer Con. <laughs> Speaking quiet. of the four horsemen, look at this. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Whoa. 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 Sick, right? Disclosure now. You know what I mean? Yeah. How sick is that? Wait, awesome. what is that figure called? I want that. Chris I don't know, skull? man. It's like the it has like one of these names that you can never remember. In, the four horsemen, incredible sculpts, incredible mm -hmm. paints. Naming could use some help, but there you go. Look <laughs> at that. Nothing is I don't remember any of it. It's one of my favorite figures. I have no idea what it's called. And I say that for almost all of their figures. Like one of my favorite figures, no idea what his name is. But uh yeah. sick figure. And then uh did you guys get this guy? Oh, oh. I know that guy. Ooh. You know what this is? I do. It's a creature. It's the creature. No, but you know, uh, you know what this? Oh. oh, well, that's neat. Isn't that I cool? Know that. Yeah. Look at this. Kyle hooked me up. Oh, damn. damn. Kyle oh. said, dude, I love those super chats you sent in so much last time I was on that I, that I, uh, that's awesome. hook you up. Look at that. Dude, hell yeah. It's cool, right? Yeah. Very, very yeah. cool. Like battle damage. The that one. And then what else came out of, uh, check this out. Let me see. I don't know if you guys know. This one's more for you, Jacob. I don't know if you guys know, uh, my buddy Octeel, uh -oh. but he put out this Safubi Shut called up. Kaiju yes. Cream. Oh my Man. God. I That is uh, delicious. It's literally a banana split, <laughs> but also Hedera from Godzilla. Come on. This is toy is kind of Dude, he can, this is his first figure, and he's selling out like crazy. Like I had to write him a little message. Like, remember how we're friends? Can you just like hold one that I can buy? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mr. Big Time? Look at that. It's so cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then more here's kaiju one. on ice cream. Here's one for all you guys. Okay, I went before a designer con, and uh, I went on eBay and I ordered my, one of my favorite Christmas gifts that I ever got as a kid, mm -hmm. and I lost it. You know, years later, I don't know what happened to it. Years later, but this one's gonna. I this is toy cool. biz. Yeah, I see some it toy is. biz on there. Look at yeah. this. <laughs> Chill out, guys. Oh, oh super size venom. Do you guys remember nice. this? 
Damn. I've seen it in toy stores all the time. Dude, as a Dude, kid, I had buy this the thing. Mondo one now. Just re-release that. It's, this one's a little bigger, but it's also a soft vinyl. This one's the funny thing is about this one. Yes, I still it. think it's one of the coolest Venoms ever. And after playing that Spider-Man game, the arcade game like, where he's no, no, the 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 recent one. I'm like my Venom oh. hype was like super like recharged. Dude, but look at the ridiculous like anatomy. <laughs> look, look at the quad. Look at the legs. Damn. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I see. There's a little. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Peter, do you remember the uh, Spider-Man arcade game, the side scroller? Okay. Look at that. Do you remember when he fights a giant Venom? Height. Yeah. That's it. You could put it's him with your six and your know. five inch figures. You really could. And look at the look at the traps, dude. He's got good posture. Yeah. He looks great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't stand perfectly. I mean, it, it'll stand, but it's a little awkward. And dude, dude when I pulled him out of that box, weird. he had like this strange bull weevil or something like Jeez. nestled right in his back right here. I have <laughs> Look at that cake. I'm yeah. You. Look at the curve He's of serving. that. Yes. Yeah. You know. Clap them cheeks, Eddie. Mm, give me a plate. Damn. <laughs> That's great. But cool, right? That guy came Very in. Very cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, so we're out of time. On? Well, that's no. it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the yeah. decon. It was good, yeah. man. Yeah. Well, let's let's formally introduce our, our our guest tonight. You've been on the show multiple times. He's uh, become a good friend. Tack Peter, what up? Senior creative director at Mondo. You guys are changing the toy industry. While one half of the toy industry falls apart at the seams, you guys are to like, knock on the wood, dude. You guys are killing it. You are appreciate you're, it. You're making incredible stuff. Uh, collector friendly. You guys are so passionate about what you do. It's just, it's unbelievable. So uh, appreciate you stopping by. We're going to talk about some Mondo reveals from DesignerCon, but how was it? How was it out on the, the West Coast? I had a good time. You know, it's a six-hour flight for us, and I have severe flight and travel anxiety. So Gabby and I popped the Xanax on the way over there. Highly recommend. First okay. time ever doing one. <laughs> yeah. And, dude, it was way better to fly that way. And, um, and Did they let uh, you, yeah. like, you sit in the cockpit or anything? No, nah, dude. I was just like, I was just like, we're good. Kids yelling here, people farting there, and I'm just like, let's go, bro. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> All right. So you did it. We did a great I job. We, yeah, we got to the place. Uh, Gabby and I did Disneyland. Never did that before. Oh, nice. Uh, nice. I've never been to Disneyland. Oh, really did you get cool. the pen my first time? You say you hit the pen? No, did, did you, you get, get the pen? pen? Oh, no, no. I had been to Disney, just not land. So I don't okay. know if I qualified. Gotcha, but gotcha, um, gotcha. but yeah, no, it was awesome. It's smaller, you know. Um, yeah. MCU land, total disappointment. Gotta be honest, but oh. San it's, the, it's like a, it's like a, hey, like so a it's just like the movies. <laughs> it's like Ooh, Phase yeah. Four. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's like, uh, dude, it feels like a Bauhaus, Bauhaus nightmare. Like it's like uh, just all gray and angular, and then there's like this random red brick structure that looks like every brewery in every like college town. Yeah, yeah. and then that's oh, that's the Spider Man ride, and then you get in the Spider Man ride, and it's cool. Like the like the concept for the ride is cool, and you're like thwipping, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But you have to thwip so much if you're competitive like me, and you want to, you know crush everybody else on in the uh, in the game that i have no memory of what the the ride was it was the most bizarre experience so total I mix actually and then, like the one at universal better 1000 percent. the whole right. land is better there yeah and then you know it's all gray everything's gray 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 there's like barely any visible reference to there's marvel no and x-men there's no 90s rogue walking around oh I mean, dude, fuck that. that if i don't see rogue Rolling in on a motorcycle to the on a, on a little ATV. They come yeah. in the uh, yeah. in, the, in Islands of Adventure. They all come in those little four wheelers. Yeah, it's here. Really I know we were there. The first time I went the there, family. I went with these three. Yeah, to yeah. Oh, okay. that it's Universal to Marvel Land, and they watched me legit lose my shit. <laughs> Dude, there's a giant mode and rogue, and I was like, yeah. "Oh my god, I need a picture with you guys." And Dude. Jacob's like, "I'll take the phone." <laughs> like, uh, I, I think I, I got embarrassed. Moment. I was like, "I can't talk to them." I had that moment this year. I went to Galaxy's Edge in California, which is exactly one to one copy of the uh, Florida one. But this is the first time I've been back since Boba Fett's been walking around. Mm. And there's a part of me that's like, "I don't have to go say hi to Boba Fett. It's fine. It's like, like it just looks cool." <laughs> Yeah, you know, from yeah. there, and then uh, and he fucking came out, dude, and I was like, "Fuck!" 
<laughs> of Boba Fett. And Gabby took a video of me and I didn't know she was videotaping. I'm like, are you filming this? And she's like, yeah, like, oh, fucking Boba Fett. So I go over there. I'm like, dude, can I get a picture with you? She takes it. And the funniest thing is like, I was so happy. I gave him a good slap on the back. Like, hey, thanks, bro. And I didn't even realize how inappropriate that was for a Disney <laughs> cast character. Like, Boom. <laughs> Oh. Boom! You know? <laughs> Smack on the ass. Yeah. But Thanks, it was good, awesome. Good game, yeah. Bob. Same yeah. thing. Yeah. San Francisco in Disneyland, phenomenal. Needs a ride, but it looks really cool. Baymax, man, save the trip. Well, um, we did Disneyland once, but it was for Star Wars night. Okay. Um, and yeah, I don't know if we got the the full because we didn't go. Did you go to both parks or just just one? both parks? That's the other cool thing. Like in in California, you leave the doors and you walk into another door and you're in another park. Right. In Florida, like you have to like trek across with the donner party to get to the next park you know <laughs> yeah. it's like the oregon I mean, he, trail yeah yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah yeah some yeah. of us have barely survived that trek. yeah yeah it's brutal but uh yeah it's cool Desi designer con's an awesome show man and it's uh always been a toy show prominently but there's a little bit of everything um four horsemen had a presence there for example um but it's not usually a show where people come to reveal stuff you know it's like i mean sure. not not the toys that we talk about, you know, like uh super sevens there, but they're not revealing stuff or horsemen are there. They're not revealing stuff. So we decided that we'll reveal everything, <laughs> you know? And so, you know, yeah, we but weren't, now, but everyone's talking about you guys. And that's what I like. Mm -hmm. You understand? Right? That's what I like here in my house, and my family <laughs> at Christmas. And of course, at the <laughs> that's good strategy. Yeah. I love yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we that. yeah. So no, but it was a lot of fun, man. You know, it's a great show to hang because everybody's really there for toys. A lot of weird stuff, a lot of customs, a lot of like it's like the Safubi version of PowerCon where you see a lot of uh you know independent <laughs> takes on things and uh but it's man, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. You discover new artists there and uh and Corey Feldman was there. Oh, wow. I'm back, kid. Did you discover him as a new artist, an up and coming <laughs> star? <laughs> I just I just asked him what's up with the youth, and he's like, What? And uh, I don't know if you get that reference. <laughs> did, did you ask him if what's that song he's got? He's got the, the comeback kid song. I love that. Song. That's an awesome song. But if you haven't seen his performance of a song called What's Up With The Youth on the Channel 9 show with Howard Stern um, from 1989 or whatever. It's, yeah. Uh, all I can, it's this emoji I right here. That, yeah. Damn. All right. I'll have yeah. to go check that out. I've probably seen it before, mm -hmm. but um, yeah. Yeah. So, but um, but yeah. yeah, it was a good show, man. And uh, by the way, before we get off topic, because I know you might have to queue it up, Craig, I sent you a video, an exclusive video behind the scenes. Did you text it to me? I emailed it to you. Love I hand that. texted it to you. No, I think I think uh, email. And uh, email it is a, a behind the scenes look of how Mad Hatter films his reviews. Oh my god! <laughs> and it's excellent. His okay, his video is so good. Yeah. Uh, that he posted, I watched it with my mother. No, he's and my mom was like, Where this was... guy is the funniest guy. Like she was laughing. And then she'd yeah. like say, then she'd pause be like, Oh, that orco looks so because my mom, of course, knows <laughs> all the motu from getting them for me as a kid. Yeah. That's yeah. why I realized my parents were into it, but living living vicariously through me. Yeah. Right. And they were just like, she's like, Oh, that Tila looks beautiful. <laughs> Look right. at the paint job on that Tila. She's That's incredible. Like, oh, mom. Yeah. And I was what, like, uh... Well, my mom gets it. When did you send it, Peter? Uh, right before I jumped on here, with uh, don't give out my email address, but what's the first letter I'll, of the email? I'll address? tell you. Hold on, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. <laughs> it was from my official work address too, by the way. Oh, so. check your spam. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, now you got his email. Spam in the place where you work. It's a big file, so maybe it's like chugging along. Whatever. Yeah. Just, just keep your eyes open for it. I'll keep them open. Um. Yeah. Anyway, so good show. A lot of stuff revealed. Mm -hmm. Craig, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So Peter sent over a a gaggle of photographs earlier, and we're we're gonna tee him up here. You can also compare Toysha's video to Mad Hatter's video and see who was more inappropriate. <laughs> we'll check that out. Um, okay. So let's see. This is whoa, whoa. I don't know. What, okay. This is the first one. Okay. Okay. Wow. So. Oh shit! Yeah. We got a Demogorgon. Mm -hmm. The now, so this is the, the 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 one that we announced at Comic Con. Uh, okay. But, a, but Hector's uh, has a couple paint ups that we showed off, and this yeah, is a this brand is new paint up. It's, I don't know if he's calling it the Lisa Frank edition, but it's like yeah. right. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. right. It's like the Trapper it's Keeper it's edition. Giving Lisa, yes. But That's the yeah, it's giving. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, but yeah, it's cool because it's you know it, we're, the uh, Demogorgon's coming out next year, and 
the new news is obviously these different paint paint apps, but all the Christmas lights, we've got them to glow in the dark. So when you uh, get these in your house, they'll be glowing. It's really, really cool. cool. That's and, uh, yeah. Big chunky James Groman sculpt. Um, one of the cool things uh, at Mondo now is being able to release James Groman figures and get them under a thousand dollars. Because if you don't know his stuff was just, you know, impenetrable, man, like, like he would, paint up his own stuff and sell them at designer con people would fly across the country to win a raffle to pay over a thousand bucks for one of his figures i love Damn. It. yeah dude cool. and so toys, now toys it's crazy collectors are so insane I love it's it. wild but you know the funny thing is groman i feel like is a good touchstone for this show and this audience if you guys don't know i mean I, i'm sure we've spoken about it but he was designing my pet monster. He was designing uh, Mad Balls when we were kids, Barnyard Commandos, Blurt Balls, all like those cool, gross, fun toys when we were kids, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, one of the things we'll get to when we get to our TMNT stuff is like he never did TMNT, and so we closed that gap. And so doing something like this with the Demogorgon with Godzilla, you get a sub three hundred dollars, sometimes a sub two hundred dollar figure, and it's Groman that you couldn't get before with an IP. So it's really cool. Yeah. Godzilla is amazing. It's crazy, I dude. I can't wait to get that thing. It's so big, dude. I had never seen it in person. The new, the new factory produced one, because yeah. the prototype was actually kind of small. And I told Hector, like, "This is cool, but if it could be a little bigger, that'd be cool for sure." <laughs> and uh, dude, he did Fuck not. Your space, dude. It's it is bigger. It's all this. It's like it's it's mad. I don't know how to explain it. It's like. It's 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 massive, dude. It's huge. I'm kind of mesmerized by it. this. is so cool looking. Oh, like I rad. like I like Stranger Things. I'm I don't I don't buy the merch or anything, but like this is something like it's just this is fucking yeah. cool. When, when, well, for all this stuff, like um, is any of this up for pre order now, or do people got to wait or not yet, not yet. I'll okay, I'll let you know what's up as okay, we get to it. it. But no, yeah, no, 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 no. This is just okay. a show off. Cool. Just trying to make sure I don't get hit by this lightsaber. But yeah, so um, this yeah, so really cool, super articulated. They got swappable heads. There's like the closed head variant on this one. Okay. And uh, yeah, like I said, so it's really cool. It's got like all these uh, Easter eggs on it. There's like his the back. He's got a baseball bat filled with nails, bludgeoned mm -hmm. bludgeoned into him, and he's got the bear trap with real chain links on his ankle. Mm -hmm. And uh, and he comes with Dart. Yeah, comes with Dart. the child like. And yeah. Craig, you didn't see Stranger Things season two, but Dart is like uh, in, uh in that. Oh, you saw it? I thought you. Didn't <laughs> like yeah, I, I never couldn't talk to you. These are now memories, were... Craig. No, I said I like Stranger. Oh, Things. you like it? Okay, I thought you were putting your nose up to it, but yeah. So no, like, I, I literally tremendous a lot. show. <laughs> I said yeah. I don't have any of the toys, which is also not true because I do. So yeah, uh, this is great. Got yeah, it. they have a Ghostbusters reference in the show. Yes, I, have you seen it? Season yeah, two, I yes. saw it. I, <laughs> hey, that was the biggest news in Ghostbusters for like a three year period. Like, yes. it was odd. <laughs> We're aware. Uh, okay, this is awesome. Should we go to the next one? Go, man. You're the All DJ. Right. Oh, look at right, this. this big because, and and Jacob, I thought you might dig this. We're doing horror Safubi. Yeah. Okay. So the idea is that we've been doing Safubi for a while with Godzilla, and we even did some soft vinyl Marvel stuff. And usually, usually the Safubi is um, part and parcel, like the, like the, the, what is that thing? Bakaman you showed off. So yeah. like Safubi is for like stylized Kaiju, Ultraman, Godzilla, fun stuff like that. And, you know, we were thinking, you know, earlier this year that we have so many horror fans that buy Mondo posters and all that. And horror fans are usually like, great collectibles like the NECA stuff is awesome you can go trick-or-treat studios it's awesome but there's not a ton of stylized stuff and i haven't seen you know hector and i we said we haven't seen like something that's a, a throwback to marusan or bullmark so these are going to be like that old retro style japanese format where they're 10 inches tall you know kind of like static like a reaction but they got the uh, articulation in the arms and the hands and the head and these are from American Werewolf in London. So you're getting the nightmare demons that, you know, that one horrifying, traumatizing scene we all experienced when we were way too early in our <laughs> lives. But And then each one comes with a swappable head. So if you buy, um, you, you, you buy two of them, you'll have all four heads. You can buy other ones and have them all four standing together. But really, really cool. Universal allowed us to take this swing. So we got this one. I think there's another uh, shot of the other ones there. 
Yeah, so there's the other one there. Mm -hmm. And those are the, the, the two other heads on the bottom. So they'll be swappable, fully soft vinyl. And I'm so hyped oh. on this one. You we know, gotta tie. stop having Peter on the show. I get like I'm getting like ooh ooh. Let's go, like, dude. I'm can just you, like ooh. Can you hear that? this? Yeah, dude. The hype. <laughs> yeah. Well, this ooh. this you is like uh, this is a marriage of like you know my two favorite things like Safubi and then horror stuff and same and, dude. Uh, and I mean like like you just said, there's something about Safubi. I mean, I mean we've we've all had this conversation before, but uh, just the way Safubi is made uh, makes the figures look so um you know unique uh and yeah. they have such a charm to them and doing horror figures like there's not a ton i know i know some safubi company did a freddy krueger yeah at some point um but the thought of having a shelf with a collection of horror safubi is i want everything in safubi form that's like, exactly I, it Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I don't want to buy other toys anymore. When you get into Safubi, you want everything to be a, I, you know, if Hasbro and if they could start doing Star Wars Safubi, or if you could start doing Star Wars Safubi, or anybody, mm. like that's what I want everything to be now. So this and, is, and, yeah, uh, you know, it, it's a weird thing, but you're you are hundred percent speaking what Hector and I were saying is like, once you like, we do, like I said, I, I have my whole neck of universal monster shelf. I love those things. And I just yeah. pre-order that new Frankenstein lab, whatever. I don't even know what it was. It comes out from universal. Like I just go pre-order. I don't even know what it is, yeah. but um, I don't even know what it is. I just hit pre-order. The monsterizer. That thing. Yeah, whatever. Boom. Pre-order. But for me, <laughs> as someone who has full shelves here in the collection, right? You get to a point, and I don't know. And I was talking to Toy Shiz about this, and it will. And this kind of lends to when we talk about six scale. You get to a point if you've been collecting for a while where you kind of just have a sea of stuff, and it's almost like turns into this beige cloud of figures. And then when I started collecting Safubi so and six scale, obviously they're a little bit more expensive, so obviously I'm going to have less of them, but. The, sh the collection just starts to look like a gallery in a way and like this really cool way where the toys really do feel like art objects. And then specifically soft vinyl. So Fubi is my favorite. And Jacob, I don't know if you feel this way, but it's not, I mean, it's, 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 it's rare and it's exclusive, all that stuff, but it's not precious. Like you could slam this against a brick wall yeah. and it'll be just fine, you know? And so you get to, as a collector, you get to like, Eat, comfortably grab and, and appreciate your your collection. So to me, at Safubi just ticks all these boxes. And yeah. so when it's you also, get into it, yeah. Yep, right there with you. Yep. So much Safubi is also hand painted too. I don't I don't know. Yes. I don't know what the uh, you know the, the method is for stuff that's like this, but I know uh, uh, when you're when you're talking about Godzilla stuff, a lot of it is just each yeah. piece is hand painted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yep. it and it just feels a little more special. Well, that's why that's why. I Puffs of right oh, yeah. here, like, oh, yeah. This, yeah, that's a that's why I tapped out now. of like Star Wars Black Series. It's like I'm looking at 300 figures, and they're half of them are falling over, and it's just all it's yes, just too much. you're not gonna lose anything, it's not gonna shatter. Like, yeah. like you're saying, Peter, you can hold it and squeeze it and move yeah. it around, and there's no risk. No, and it's super tactile. And again, like on your shelf, they they really pop out. And so, and there's also over as you start to get, get into Sufubi, you recognize stylistic choices like certain things are just off because in the 60s they were trying to nail a certain skull but they could only get so far because of the mold yada yada and so those things have become intentional design choices now right mm -hmm. so you know with michael myers you know you've seen the realism we capture in our six scale stuff we could have made this look identical but there was this thing it has to look good next to an ultraman figure a common rider figure it has to look like he fits along there and so we spent a good amount of time uh, working with our buddy, uh, Aaron McNaught, who's an incredible sculptor and works at Sideshow. And uh, and he nailed these for us. And they just look so good. This one's They're, awesome. Yeah, it's in the irregularity. Yeah. that it. And Hector it painted all in. these things right before the show. It's a Halloween, nice. too. You get the alternate. Uh, the Ben Tramer mask. The Ben Tragic. Tramer. Pour one out. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, yeah, so this yeah. is great. This is awesome. Somebody in the chat earlier was specifically brought this one up. Yeah, it's a cool uh, one, man. Cool. Uh, let's uh keep going here. Now, so this he is very cool. Now, mm -hmm. here we have your design, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Attack Peter. 
Look, just take this in. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, dude. I, I got to tell you, I was shitting a brick before bringing this one to the show. <laughs> if I'm being serious. Yeah. <laughs> because, yeah, because creatures like up there with Godzilla for me, like favorite monster of all time easily. And he's so tragic. You know what I mean? Um, so I love him and I had done some unlicensed creature prints before I, you know, got my name out there and I really liked how they came out. I was trying to capture, you know, like the style of, of, of American traditional tattoo flash. And I made something that looked like a back piece and, and I just locked on this stylization that I really liked. And, um, but I never got a chance to, uh, to really, to really like, you know, I mean, I could do something licensed now, but I just haven't had the time, you know? And so when the opportunity came to do a new figure, I said, Hector, let's try to do this. And this one was so tough to nail, to feel good, you know, to feel like it, like I felt good about it. And even when I was confident with it, I'm like, does anybody give a shit if I do a, a, a creature from the Black Lagoon figure? Is this the one that tanks me? You know, because it's like Godzilla is safe for me now. If I just do the Godzilla stuff, I'll be fine. You know, but I haven't done anything with Creature in a big way. So putting this one out, I was real nervous about it. Also, we didn't show a black and white one. We showed a color one. And uh, man, people flipped. It's my biggest post on social media ever. Nice. nice. Dude, yeah. that's awesome. Up. It blew up. And so... I'm super stoked on it. He's going to be a, a, a nice little figure um, next year, next spring, hopefully, maybe for Frightmare. We're thinking Texas Frightmare will release him. I got a question about you getting, like, because you're able to do this and you're able to do Godzilla. Like, would you be able to venture out even more? Like, because yeah. you guys do stuff with the Marvel license, could we get a, an, an attack Peter Venom? I would love to do it. And I would love to do, uh, uh, I, I could theoretically, yes, do it. I'm very strategic about it dull is the honest truth like yeah no it makes sense in, in other words like and this is like this is a little behind the scenes you know behind the curtain thing i'm lucky that i work here because there's less of a hurdle for the company less of a risk for the company to to put out something that i designed because they don't have to pay me an extra artist fee and they don't have to like i'm already here you know i'm already here <laughs> doing other work and uh and so i just want to make sure that because they're kind enough and generous enough to allow me to do one that it's a, it's not a stinker. So I'm always trying to figure out, even though I can do everything, what design do I really have? That's exciting. And right. I haven't really figured out venom yet. Cause that's the tricky thing with venom is like, it's so clean. I mean, you could do a lot of stuff, but like right. where, where wh I would have to figure out what I could bring to it to make it not like an audacious like fresh thing right go, oh like, it's does it make Peter sense venom. does it work for you kind of Th what did i well? contribute like, is that yeah you know right. I mean? yeah right. that's that's what i was looking for now ninja turtles oh okay. we're gonna get uh mm -hmm. you got some good bold ones that, Sorry, one, I could, on. that one i think <laughs> yeah. i can do christopher yeah. alarcon says this is legit what i've been waiting for pete's creature is going to change the game of my creature oh creature. heck yeah Ooh. Peter, you know I, I i had to text you over the weekend and you and did thank you congratulate you on this because I mean, to me, it feels like uh, Creature is one of the. I feel like Creature from the Black Lagoon is one of the important, you know, movies. Like if you you think about all the uh, Universal monsters, Godzilla, all the kaiju, a couple of them stand out. Godzilla is one of them, and I feel like Creature is another one. And uh, dude, this is a this is a perfect rendition of the i i love mm -hmm. this so much i immediately sent this our friend hal clay is one of the biggest uh creature fans he's got uh, a creature I bathroom know. no way and, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, and, yeah. See that. this is beautiful i can't i can't wait to own this dude i i'm very grateful you sent me that text i gotta tell you that it's a real thing like you know i i, I talk a lot of shit obviously but like there's you get <laughs> you get i there, there are moments where you, you feel like ah oh, this one's gonna tank or this is the one that no one gets it's just no matter what always 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 i have this sense that like eh, no one's gonna want this this is just me having a tantrum that's what i thought this was in my head i'm like and at one point i'm like hector should we just cancel this like just shelve it <laughs> just shelve no, it. Like, this no is good. it's good no this yeah, is good. awesome I'm no it's good it. that you do that it keeps you humble yeah. i i'm well i'm constantly living in a state of existential dread and anxiety and uh I you know, love between it. ai welcome and aliens... to the club yeah. yes, yes, yes yeah. a little bit of it yeah. Yeah. literally yeah. like I've come to the conclusion that I could win the Mega Millions tomorrow. It doesn't matter. 
And by two days later, I would be fucked. I would just, something would, it would be all bad. So, uh, but, but yeah, I'm stoked on it, man. So, uh, it'll cool. be, it'll come, it'll come out next year and I'm hoping we get to do some colorways. I really want to do a glow in the dark one. Have Ooh. you seen those? I'm just saying it right now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to steal that super seven colorway. The one they did with the, uh, Adora, uh, that glow in the dark Adora this year. Oh, yeah. yeah I, mean, oh, I, it's I, like I told Kyle. Does it have like the hot pink and hot the, green? Yeah, the hot pink. Yes, yeah, that yeah, one exactly. Yeah, that I'm gonna would do cool. that. Let's do that. Yeah, dude. Oh, I, don't I just I, don't I asked Hal for a picture of his bathroom to share. Oh. I think he might be a. Just sleep. text out. Show me your bathroom. <laughs> well, show me your bathroom, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> um, okay, so that's amazing. Let's keep it rolling. Uh, Urban Aztec Godzilla patina variant. So this is a variant of the one that was revealed. Yeah, dude. And this is yeah, that I thing, love man. This like color too. It's, gorgeous. it's cool, right? This and and again, he, shout out to Hector because he was literally painting eleven different figures and his wife too. His wife Hillary painted Dang. the creature. Oh, I think he was painting his wife. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, things go down, but the point is, like, <laughs> he was painting these things right up until the show because he's like that serious about this and uh this godzilla man again this is one of those things that i think we're lucky to do at mondo because we have a reputation where the companies trust us to abstract and stylize and you know my godzilla is like a redesign in terms of like oh it's a different art style and i draw it a certain way and that's cool and it definitely doesn't look like the movie or anything but jesse's is like a cultural redesign you know what i mean right. like right. when jesse does his take on godzilla it's like reframing what this could be in some else world where it's, you know, he attacked some, you know, pre Mayan civilization or whatever it is, or Aztec. And then this is what's left over that's created, you know? So Toho was, I was always under the impression when I started working with the Toho license that they were very protective and they were honestly, and it wasn't that they were like gatekeepers or just, you know, want to make sure that if something gets fast yes so. exactly so the fact that they let me do mine and then i think that opened the door a little bit and then we presented jesse's and hector and i were again like and yeah. then when they said yes we put it out there we're like well the fans like it you know and that for that first one just blew the doors down like that thing blew up and so this will be the third colorway and uh this is the one i really want because again it looks maybe like maybe um yeah this one's like beautiful. This the color, but uh, to, no, Jacob. I think you'll. I don't know if you'll agree with me. I always think that the Godzilla community of the fandoms that I'm aware of is the least toxic and like pretty open minded to anything goes. Yeah. If you if if I had to compare, uh, you know, the Godzilla community to I don't know, just off the top of my head, the Ghostbusters community. Yeah, I would say it's much. <laughs> different. Um, uh, yeah, no, they're they're pretty open. I think I, you see a lot of people get super excited in the in yeah. the Godzilla and the kaiju community. And you know, I've always kind of sat on the outside of the kaiju community until me and Jay started doing uh, Monster Island. And then you get to know people, and like I'm sitting on like one of the things that's cool about Decon Peter is like you see all these kaiju people who are there or either yeah. in the groups on Facebook posting the reveals or like, I was able to get this, I was able to get this and everybody knows each other and they're all having a good time and they're all at decon except me. So um, <laughs> this figure is awesome. And it's another, this kind of proves another point about Safubi is that like sometimes a figure might come out and you might pass, you might be like, Oh, this is cool, but it's not, this just not for me. Right. You have to do that with Safubi because of the prices, but then yeah. A colorway might come out where you're like, "This is the one that this yeah. is the one for me." Yeah. Yeah. I didn't care about this figure as much before, or something. Uh, that sounds derogatory, but you I know, care. I didn't. I didn't want to buy it before, but now I have to. Yeah, Art didn't has connect. to speak to you. Yeah. Or like you know, like like with me, I love a lot of stuff I don't own. I'm at this phase now where I'm really sharpening my skill to say I can love it from here. I don't. That's have hard. To bring it. It's hard, but the thing is, Safubi kind of trains you on that way because a lot of it's hard to get in the first place, and you got to just see things go by like that, like that. Uh, Bakamon, three of them, we're not getting it. It's only Jacob's gonna have it. You got to love it from here, and so it kind of trains you in that way. But also, like, there's so many color variants that if you even did go after them all, you'd run out of space fast. So it's a cool thing well, where you just like you, mm -hmm. you also have to think about, uh, you know, if anybody is a is a watcher of yhs on monster island jakey should be thank you um 
there there is a specific sculpt a uh, Godzilla 89 figure that Jake he collects and it started off as a joke because he was getting a couple colorways it started off on a, a joke on the show where I was like hey Jay you got to get 89 89s oh and he now gosh, has man. he now has 88 89s and he's waiting on his 89th figure of the exact same fucking toy just in a different colorway you know and in some of them <laughs> the colors in some of them it's just like well the glitter is different or yeah the right it's like a minor like there, there's, you know they they get pretty crazy but he literally has 89 of the same. it's a thing man it's a thing and this one you know hey shout out hector's in the chat so hector, hector go back to painting no i'm kidding he's on vacation now but that guy's worked <laughs> hard enough but yeah no like the the reality is that this really if you've seen the other paint apps, this one totally changes it. So it's really cool. Yeah, to see. I think it does too. I love it. Yeah. Um, and oh, also the reason why the 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 one Jacob got earlier, the limited to three, the reason why no one else will get it is because he didn't reveal. He bought all three. Uh he he wants to make sure <laughs> he's the only one. one. I'm trading. Yeah. And then he he crushed the other ones. Yeah, he broke the other two. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Full control. I love uh, that. No, I kid. Okay, so we've got more uh Godzilla reveals. Ooh, Abby, this looks like yeah, it's on your wheelhouse. Yeah, Minya. That's the little that's thing. that's basically a calico critter, Abby. So you can yeah. get this. Yeah, that's my speed right there. Yeah, exactly. Cute, <laughs> small, blow smoke rings. Love it. Can you put yeah, you in know, this calico corner? And yeah, exactly. Calico <laughs> corner <laughs> welcomes everyone. It's very this is a character art. that there's not a lot of Safubi of. There's not a ton of Gabra stuff out there. Yeah. And that was our thinking. It was like we've done, you know, the Showa era of Godzilla figures with Rodan, you know, and um, and we've, uh, you know, if you consider Godzilla eighty four, you know, it's like that transitional era. But the the thing is that this three pack is well, because first of all, it's a three pack. We're doing a three pack, and it's based on the film All Monsters Attack, which is probably objectively speaking the goofiest what? Godzilla movie. I love that. It's it's one of the ones that. Some people just on the surface will tell you is the worst one, but it is a fun. Movie. It's super fun. So you got to see Manda. No, hey, Manda. Wait. Yeah, because well, Manda probably shows up in a highlight reel. If I don't remember, I can't remember if he's oh, even in oh, it. But it's it's, it's, it's a like clip show movie. Yeah, it's ninety percent old footage. Yeah. So, so this is a three pack. What's that, like? That's awesome. Have you guys done that before? Like a multi pack. No, no, we're losing our minds over here. Things are crazy. <laughs> you guys are you guys no. are crazy. <laughs> 17 figures, one pack. No, but it's like that's awesome. Uh, no, but the reality is, like Jacob said, Gabra doesn't get a lot of um uh, of figure love, really. Like I, I think you have to go back and find some old stuff if you want Gabra. And uh, Minya is one of these weird figures where you can get Minya figures, like Super Seven, just drop one, for example. Um, but he's not like a very attractive fellow in the films. <laughs> And so, <laughs> you know, and then in the movie and then the figures that do him, you know, accurately, you know, it, it's not doing him any favors. And so I told Hector, like, hey, can I design non attack Peter figures? And if so, can I design Minya a little more stylized so he can oh, be he like, designed these. I designed yeah. these. Yeah, it, yeah. I designed these to like and uh so I drew up like the front view, the side views, all that mm -hmm. non-attack Peter style. That's why uh, the the email Peter sent today, he was like we uh contractually we have to spend at least 20 minutes on these ones. 100%. <laughs> so we're only and on minute 3. So. I love yeah, these just ones. Just really bunker down, guys. This is <laughs> going to be under my pen name, uh, Che Lounge. Is my <laughs> you'll see that. It's, it doesn't mean anything, but it's going to look cool in the box. Uh -huh. And uh so yeah, so it's like it's cool because like if you wanted to get the show of figures from us, like you'll have Rodan, you'll have these three. I mean, if you have the old Hedora, um, but like these three start a collection immediately. If you wanted to get Sofubi, you got okay. Godzilla, Gabra, Minia, mm -hmm. and uh, Hector and our sculptor, uh, Tufan Caesar, who does my um, Godzilla figures and the creature as well. We really spend, there you go. Seven and a half, 7.5 inch for Gabra. So, um, they line up really well with the other ones. Um, and so the idea was, can we put these together? Is anybody going to buy Gabra by himself? Maybe, but if we put them in this really cool pack, you know, like you really are compelled to get a figure who's rarely ever created as a figure. You get a kick-ass Godzilla that like, he's definitely based on that 68 model, but Hector kind of pushed him and made him a little bit more badass, I think, without losing cool. the showiness of it. Yeah. And then Minya, you know, this is a Minya you're not embarrassed to show your mom. 
No, <laughs> he's got those like uh, adorable uh, eyes. Like there's something specifically about them that makes me like I'm like I just want to pinch him. Yeah, it was intentional to try to make him a little more chibi. And you know what's funny? Someone took a photo of him from slightly above. Yeah, and posted it in one of the groups. And someone and and he looks like like Nelson from The Simpsons. Like he's like <laughs> like a little fucker, you know. And so yeah. yeah, the angles are really funny. He actually looks really cute when you look at him straight on. That's funny. Yeah, really cute. Yeah. I like I like Minya. I like the ugly Minya. I like me too. Ball, so yeah. Yeah. it's cool. Yeah, yeah. Um. All right. So moving a little bit oh, away. Yeah. Wait, what? I said nothing. Uh, he, he, he cut out anyway. I was just uh, saying, E-Man, I'll see you guys later. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. Wait, no, Jacob, no, actually, no. And I'll tell no. you why. I'm this is Safubi. Oh. So this, this is, is a, a scare glow, glow Safubi? <laughs> this is a 15-inch oh. scare glow Safubi. Now, wait for it. The entire <laughs> skeleton is inside there, sculpted for the first time ever. In the past, these... These designers, they just paint the skeleton on the chest. Oh, it's I'm, ah. like, I'm like, do you even care about your job? Like, put some effort in. Hector yeah. says, yeah. I'll sculpt the entire skeleton anatomically, anatomically correct, excuse me, and it'll be articulated. And it'll all be inside a clear, soft vinyl uh, body based on the original figures. So, to be honest, I believe this is the bridge that links uh, Jacob and J. Key. For the rest of the toy collecting community. I, I, I want to address this, Dorlax, and Jake's dislike of Motu gives me the wanna stabs. <laughs> the wanna it's stab. not that I it's not that I dislike it. Uh, a couple years ago I fell into a trap where I started buying it. I, it it's not that I dislike it, I'm scared of it. Mm. <laughs> and you should run, run yeah. like hell because hey, this is insane. um I'm this very is... attracted to the look of it. So yeah. Secret galaxy. There you go. Secret Galaxy has spoken. Wait. Don't I dare anybody to challenge him. Now, this is fully <laughs> glow in the dark skeleton on the inside, glow in the dark head, swappable heads. You'll see another picture has um the alternate head. He's got there it is. So that's a, a more a, a modernized huh? Real bones inside, right? Actual fetus <laughs> bones that are <laughs> I love it. They're a little yeah. Hector. Respect the skeleton. It's, in, it's California. Anything goes where he lives. And so you just, <laughs> they got the risk. There's no regulation. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of 15 inch. <laughs> no, but then he got the all the alternate weapon that's fully glow in the dark too. So the cool thing is it really glows really well. It's like there, we've seen some pictures of after it's been tested and all that. And uh, and the it's got a wired cape. It's awesome. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? That's cool. This so is I feel like, yeah. yeah, this is one of those pieces that if you don't collect Motu or if you're something's wrong with you and you're scared of Master of the Universe, like this <laughs> is one of those pieces you can get and just don't worry, you're done. You get one. And you're done. Yeah, this could be a mm -hmm. Is this your first no, I, What, Jacob? No, I was just going to say, like, I buy this and then I try to figure out how to get that Skeletor, the crazy looking Skeletor that you guys, uh, what is it? What's that? The Disco weird Skeletor? The Motubi? Oh, my. <laughs> Motubi, I like that. It's Motubi. That's our branding. Um, but this one's insane, dude. I honestly like if you're just a toy fan and you see this, this is Hector's baby, seriously speaking. And uh, you know, the thing he there must be a reason that other toy companies never did this in all seriousness, like put the skeleton inside a hollow body. Because you had Roboto, right? right. Roboto existed. Right. You know, you could do some cool, clear stuff. But for some reason, it never happened with Scareglow. And Scareglow is a figure that like everybody collects, no matter what you're into. Right, he's Scareglow. the rare guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rare guy. He's the he's chase. He's a dark skeleton. Yeah. No, What's exactly. With that? a cape. Yeah. yeah Scareglow exactly. figure was the what got me into when I when I fell down a path of collecting. It was a Scareglow figure. Yeah. That, that pulled me in. Yeah, it's it's a it's just such an awesome piece of design and engineering, and like I'm, it's why I'm such a fan of Hector. Like he's got this crazy brain, and he just says, "What if dot dot dot," and then right. boom, and it's like it's like suddenly it's possible, yeah. you know. So that's awesome. Really cool. That's cool that you can have Thank a really you, great. It, yeah, it's reflective. But it's awesome you can have a great working relationship with Mattel that they're stoked on it too. Like that's awesome, dude. We are so lucky. They let us do a lot of cool stuff, man. Yeah. And something. Wait, did we? I can't remember what we revealed at PowerCon, but they let us do stuff. Hector will let me know what I can say or not. Oh, text. what's this? Ah, 
So oh. here we have a uh, one oh. six scale rogue X Men animated series. Uh, Need this help, is Craig? this is no. I'm just, <laughs> you know what? I think I'm doing pretty good. I don't have any notes. I know what this is. Ryan, you talk to me about it first, and we'll let Peter talk on it. So this is this one's not branded as X Men ninety seven, correct? This is just the no. X Men animated rogue. Yes. Uh, she would have five heads. Don't get hung up on that, by the way. Movies. What's that? Don't get so hung up on that. I was watching this uh, Geek Dad Life with um, what's this guy he had? I haven't on? watched him yet, but is it, he, he had some. He had a guy from another show. I've I don't I've never seen. Um, who am I thinking? Unboxed. Uh, nostalgia nostalgia unboxed. unboxed. That guy, and he's like, "Why is it X Men '97? What's going on?" I'm like, dude. Figured. Well, no, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter. Like, I guess, matter. really, in the end Everybody of it, calm like, down. Oh, no, but it's just I. Well, I just noticed too that I was like, oh, that one says ninety-seven. I wonder what the deal is, but it doesn't seem like anything. Nothing. Don't Regardless, real quick, real quick, we have a super chat. Kyoto Films. Any ideas on price point on the Scare Glow? Hector, if you want to answer that in the chat. All right. I don't. I don't remember. I think he said what it was, and I don't want to say the wrong thing. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, back to what's important here. Rogue. <laughs> the hair. The hair, mm -hmm. all yeah. right. Nailed this hair. hair is clearly hair. bigger than her ass, as it should be. Oh, so clearly, you took my advice from the last time you were on <laughs> and have applied it to this action figure. So, thank you very much for that, Alex. Uh, listens. Amazing, I love the base, the, the sentinel base. That is amazing as well. I can't wait to see the other like sculpt, like the heads, the other heads that were advertised in the preview which was san diego comic-con mm -hmm. so i can't wait to see what those look like this is a gorgeous figure dude mm -hmm. this is like boner city like this is awesome <laughs> this is i love this can, now can we get is there any, if you guys are looking for quotes for like we've done quotes for packaging for neca <laughs> is there a way we Bro. could get yeah, this boner is Boner City on a boner, Funko product. Yeah. This is Boner City. <laughs> no Ryan. problem. Yeah, that's going to be the review on the back of the package. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll put a special sticker I on it. Or to Funko Town or whatever. It's <laughs> yeah, no big deal. <laughs> no big deal. You know what's funny? When I when I showed up at the show, Hector was setting it up, and I it looked like a statue, and I got thrown off for a second because that pose on the base. It's like a premium format statue pose. You know what I mean? Right. And like you right. said, it's very yeah. dynamic with the hair and all that. We're zoomed in now, but if you like, if you see that thing from like, like moving, like what? And then you have to remind yourself it's a figure. You can take it off the base, pose it however you want, you know? Mm -hmm. And, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm with you guys. The funny thing about this line is that Alex keeps outdoing himself. And that's incredible. Um, yeah. No, you yeah, seriously. And then the paint apps that we get on these things, they just keep. And, and so like when I first started working, you know, we had Wolverine, obviously, and then we waited a little while. And then we came out with Rogue and Magneto and I got to see those in person. I'm like, and it wasn't until I saw these figures in person that I got, I got it right. And Alex really understands how to sculpt um, female faces so that they don't look just cute and pretty or just badass and a little rough around the edges. He can really nail settle down, Craig. He can really <laughs> nail the yeah, he really um, did well. On these faces. Come on, I'm Jeez. looking at her face. <laughs> he really, <laughs> he really <laughs> nailed the balance, and that's something that's always difficult to do. I remember going to art school, I had a uh, illustrator, yeah. uh, illustration professor who's like, for some reason, a lot of male artists have trouble drawing women to look feminine. And mm -hmm. when they do, it's overly cutesy. They can't find that, like... That real beauty. balance that yeah. exists. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I understand it's, it's a delicate... Men are fucking idiots. Men yeah, are fucking and, idiots. They're, they're, well, they're, you know, that's well, what it and, comes down to. Bottom and, and, yeah. Alex, to, in my opinion, like, and now since I've worked with him and, and been able to look very closely, you start to look around, you see it's not easy to pull off. And like, there's obviously great sculptors in this business, great painters, and sometimes they nail it, but Alex always nails it, dude. So it's like, uh, hats off to him. He's a wizard, man. Yeah. I'm well, stoked to see the X Men Evolution head, even though it doesn't match with the costume. It doesn't matter. We're getting that head. And I it's think a finger that's puppet. Like, it's super exciting. So this means uh, you guys have to re-release that gambit. Just people are it. saying that. Yes, because we yeah. all missed it the first time, like idiots. Okay, Abby, this is anything how you else learn? 
on Rogue before we move on? Oh, I just fucking love Rogue. She's a she's an inspiration to me. She's like my favorite character from X Men. I play Rogue as my skin on Fortnite and you know, all sorts of crowns. Uh so yeah, I I think this is awesome and the the power, the strength, the hair, and like the focus in in her face. That's yeah. what makes it hot, and it's, it's awesome, not man. about anatomy as much as it is like just the the presence and um, confidence. Yeah, she has, yeah. Yeah. Do do we have hot. any PA on when she could possibly? Is she like a spring release, a summer release? I'm pretty sure it's spring, and and I don't want to misspeak, but I'm pretty sure it's early spring. Early spring Excellent choice. Yeah. Cool. Good. 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 Yeah. Spring I'm pretty away. sure. Yeah, uh, Hector will chime in if you, if I say anything wrong. I hope, but, um, but yeah, there's that whole shelf is coming out. I know Orc. Wait, wait a second. I have the, he texted me the dates. Hold on. I'll oh. tell you right now. Nice. Rogue is February. Boom. There you go. Oh, my there. birthday. Okay. Boom. Well, today's your birthday. That's why we're showing this. <laughs> Ryan, Peter, and who, who's? Oh. oh, do you guys? Jake, make the Jacob's the, Jacob's oh. the guy in the middle. No, 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 no. I heard. I'm like, I was like, I was like who's he talking David, about? David Cabal with a super chat. Ryan, Peter, and Jake, do you guys mix the 97 with the OGs, 90s X Men? The purists don't mix them. The purists, I think they're, oh, but they're, I think if, they're if all the same. About legends, though. hold on. If, he, if he's talking about legends, my X Men 97 figures go with my Jada Street Fighter figures. <laughs> That's where those are going. My I, issue puts them all kind of together but also i haven't opened any of my x-men 97 figures yet so they're right. they're in the tote over here but yeah well thank you for the super um okay so what else do we have here we let's see here Ooh, so dude, this is the, the orco like mega ultimate set that this thing yeah you get like insane. three figures with it yeah you know what uh craig not, i'm not wanting to tell you how to do your job but go to the one with the full group shot first oh shit okay let me find can, it can you find it where it is. I think I've been doing pretty good. Let's click through them. Yeah, what is it? Are like sensing which one it is? Is it this? No, the no. full set. A group. There we go. There you go. So ah. all of this, plus like a million hands, is the Orco set. So <sighs> when you get Orco, you get the one six Orco, which is right in the middle, right? And he comes with two different heads, right? The one on him, obviously, and the one to the far left. And that one on the bottom left is the Mondo original Orco head sculpt. So if you wanted to, you know, have that stylistic take, but then the one that we put on, it still feels a little classic. So it's, it's, it's like you have both options, but then you get the uh, retro Orco on the left there. You get Driel, who I believe was the first time she's ever been a figure. And no, then, I think, uh, I think Maddie classics did it. Okay, good. There you go. Corrected me. But the head sculpt of Orko Unmasked, I believe, is a first, Dole. Yes, this is a first. Okay. Absolutely. And then, um, you know, we got the other characters and his plushie and his uh, scepter and the energy beams and the magic and all that kind of stuff. This thing in person is insane. If you are so inclined, I mean, Craig, the way you were zooming on Rogue, you might want to know that if you lifted up Ro uh, Orko's uh, uh, robe there, you could actually see his legs and feet. Oh, wow. be able to see him what? Here. yeah. Nice. So I didn't know he has. Photo with that. There yeah. were some people upskirting him. It was really uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> it was really happening. It Coming really soon, happened. Orco upskirts .org. People slid the phone in like this. I watched it happen. Like people like that, and they were clicking and like taking yeah. it. So it's as I've been saying, none of this is healthy. This is all no. bad for all of us. <laughs> yeah, this is the end of times. And so, uh, so yeah, this is an awesome set, man. Cause like they all, they all, uh, come included all of this. And, um, and yeah, I just love the fact they got the soft goods robe. You got the, uh, that cool design that they, that they included on the, above the robe there. And it just, it's such, that's such presence, man. It's awesome. It's okay. really a great figure. Yeah, this is a great set. And this is a lot. It's again, this is one of those, I don't know what the price is, but I already feel like you're getting a lot of bang for your buck with this. Yeah, man, it's it's really rad. And shout out to the sculptor uh, May Tom Torana. It goes by Sculptor Shelf on Instagram. Uh, if you follow Sculptor Shelf, they did this one and they killed it. Uh, really Brian really Carr with a five dollars super chat. As a Motu fan since '83, I just wanted to thank Hector and Peter for hands down the best Masters of the Universe figures ever. Please keep them coming forever. High praise Never. because there's been a lot yeah. of Motu figures over the years. Thank mm -hmm. you, Ryan. I really appreciate that. And yeah, shout out to the team that works really hard on it. You know, uh, Tommy, 
uh, Tommy Hodges, who also who sculpted Tila, for example, which we'll talk about, and uh, Battle Cat, and you know th those guys, and, and the painters Mark Bristow who painted Tila. There's so many people, phrase. so many people who work on these things, and and of course the concept art that we get uh, from Florian, from Emiliano Santa Lucia. So it's a lot of people who work on it, to, and it it really is. If you are a fan of Motu toys for a long time, you know some of those names. Like like Emiliano's been involved with Motu since the 2000s era, you yep. know, and uh, and so these are like pedigree for Motu. So I think it's the dream team, and that's why these figures look so good. Yeah, they're awesome. Whoops, yeah. whoops. There's another close up of our. Yeah, yeah. Those oh. those 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 like power sculpts are really good. They look like the Doctor Strange ones from Hot Toys. Yeah, the I colors are all. I mean, like. Yeah. This is just fun. And like, I think it's really special. I, like we can't let, this is uh, not a paid advertisement. Okay. The reason Go we ahead. have Peter on is because I think, um, I think what you guys are doing is actually like legitimately special and unique. And I think that uh, you're, you're carving out uh, a new space because it's you're pro I, I would guess that there's one twelfth or I'm sorry, one six collectors who've been buying hot toys and stuff forever um, who are, paying attention to you guys for the first time and there's probably people who are just masters of the universe fans or x-men fans who've never been inclined to buy a 12 inch figure and you're like well i can't not get these they're yeah. they're incredible so it's just it's just awesome Craig, yeah I, I appreciate that did you get pictures well before we get to tila because we should look at tila as well uh did you also get pictures from the you guys cause you guys did a panel as well where you showed off the venom no, we didn't. We knew a panel. We just had a really cool, like that monitor. Well, we did a panel. Let me start rephrase that. But it wasn't okay. to show off new stuff. There was a monitor on the booth, just cycling through all that uh, stuff. So we were I don't, I don't have those images no. though. That's okay. I'll talk about them tomorrow with Alex on Gotham City. Uh, oh, good. I was gonna tomorrow. say, yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. But you know, I, I'll, I'll just respond to what you said, Craig. And I appreciate it. You know, you guys were talking about the layoffs and and how the toy industry is changing. And I agree with you, dude. And and it's something that I think about too. It's it's not something you want to see no matter what you do or whether you're just collecting or whether you're working, you know, pop culture in general, I feel took a hit this year in, in, in terms of the big tent pole uh, franchises and all that kind of stuff. Except and, for Barbie, Barbie, except for Barbie. Yeah. And, um, and I mean, there's all lots of great new stuff that popped up, but the big, you know, some of the classic stuff got took a hit. And then, you know, we came out of the pandemic where I feel like a lot of people indulged or like really like bumped up their collections or started their collections with, you know, and, and so there's definitely a contraction happening. And uh, I do think that it is what we do is risky in the sense that we're asking you guys as collectors to value this stuff the way we value it, you know? Um, okay. There you go. Hector. Thank God. Uh, and, um, and, um, and when you guys show up, like, you know, that, that disco Skeletor sold out fast, a thousand units, boom. And that's like the third Skeletor we drop in a quarter. And so when you guys su That's support, awesome. yeah, when you guys get those figures, we're, it's not lost on us. We don't sit, when we have these designs, the meetings, we're thinking like, man, people, are, is this is this a cool thing to do? Is this the right time to drop something? Is it too soon? Are we su satisfying the fan base with enough releases? Do they feel like they're invested in a line? Are they going to want 12 inch? I, I think oftentimes we're seeing people converted from uh, six inch figures or one twelve scale to one six more than we're seeing people who already get one six and also get these. I mean, those, right. those collectors exist for sure. But I think the majority from the feedback I get are people who were never getting one six and they just are fans of Motu or they're fans of uh, Batman, the animated series or, you know, or X-Men. And they're like, this feels like the yeah. one edition, the one version that I need. Well, and also it's like, I, I put you guys in like, I, it's either daydream territory or like when I go to sleep at night and I'm cycling through my brain and I'm thinking about toys, I, I, okay. What I'm about to say is going to sound insane, but one way that I fight anxiety, I've always, this is a, a thing that I've talked about. Probably not publicly. Um, I like to fall asleep with a smile on my face. Same bro. Um, and, uh, whether I think about, you know, doing these podcasts that we do or thinking about something good in my life or thinking about there's a new Ghostbusters movie coming out or, or whatever. And a lot of times I'm thinking about toys and like literally just thinking about your Batman animated series stuff, like 
it puts a smile on my face. And like, if I'm going to bed and thinking about this toy, I'm definitely going to go to bed. If I go to bed thinking about this Tila, I might have a smile on my face. There's (laughs) something really distinct and unique. And it's that thing you were talking about, Peter, where it's like, the structure of her, it's not like the male gaze, like our right. impression of like a woman being small and thin. It's like there's there's so much like strength to her figure. Yeah. You can see her muscles pulling Look her at backwards. Like, Look at that fur. The abdomen. It's like, the, the yeah, face, dude, this is the, she looks good. like fucking Spice from uh, Batman Forever with uh, Sugar and Spice. Dude, like, oh, in, does, hey, dude. Mondo, you should be making those toys too, by the way. Yeah, uh, that's that. This gives uh credence for those toys to be made. This is a really great figure. <laughs> oh man, could you, you know, imagine like a one six scale sugared spice two phase three pack? Dude, <laughs> she's ripped. It's you awesome. Know, this yeah. Tila to me is like, it, and by the way, shout out Tommy Hodges on the sculpt. I was just saying how great Alex Brewer is at sculpting, uh, you know, female figures. Look at Tommy, like he's like right there. And this thing, you know, it was a lot of work to really nail her to uh, the the look, the appearance, to get the classic vibe in there, but also make it feel like it fits alongside the other uh, designs that we have that are definitely like contemporized, some classic looks. Mm-hmm. But this also just has that Mark Taylor look to it, right? Like it yep. it 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 feels like it's right out of the original concept art. And I think a lot of that has to do with the paint. Um, this figure got delivered to Hector like by hand in the at, at our Marriott uh, uh lobby by Mark Bristow the painter like the last second just came in here it is here's and Tila it, yeah like we didn't need to bring Tila like Orko would have done well uh, Rogue would have looked cool we would have had some representation but we were that dead set on you guys seeing this already that uh had to bring it and I just think the paint is on another level with this mm-hmm. one it yeah. looks it looks Incre- just as good in person sometimes you know photographs soften the edges or like smooth things out not nah, it's exactly like right that. and it takes Immaculate. a classic look and i think i know like when masterverse came out there's people like you ruined this you did like and i think sometimes people have trouble expressing like what they don't like about something and i, I do think sometimes people are unfairly categories categorized as like oh you just don't like change and it's not it's not that like what you guys <laughs> do with a figure like this is like you take a classic design you retool it a little bit where it retains classic features, but accentuates, you know, you know, the muscle or, or whatever. And like, it's new, but it's familiar. And like, like the reaction is like Motu fan. Let's not pretend like Motu fans are like, they're like a really easy group to please. And they really like everything. And they're not that opinionated like that. You guys are co- coming hard with stuff that with a fan base that is, is uh, mm-hmm. going to tell you if they don't like it. They aren't easy to please. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you know, it's like that thing where, like, if you're gonna spend the money on a one six figure, y- you kind of just want what you want. You know, it's not like you're trying to buy into someone's take on something, which is cool. Like, we definitely have interpretations in our figures, but it's not such a departure where, when you look at it, you don't immediately know what you're looking at. Sure, and, uh, yeah, sure, sure. And that's definitely part of it. You know, uh, I saw a question that I wanted to answer, Eric Williams. Out of curiosity, why doesn't Mondo do more dynamic bases or stands for one six? Um, you know, I there's no we're not against it. I just think we, we're we we are like we say all the time. We're a really small team that works on this stuff, and uh, you know, we we start to get to the point where we're like next figure, next figure, next figure, or like oh we want to do this, or we want to do a battle cat, or we want to do you know some vehicle or whatever it is. So I think we we're, we definitely. We'll get to it. I mean, we we introduced some new uh, stands for the uh, recent figures. Like you saw the Orco one is that clear sure. uh, stone, a cobblestone looking uh, stand. But uh, we have plans to do some stuff like that. It's just getting to everything. It'll, it'll happen. Yeah. And, and somebody asked at the con if we would ever do like a stand pack of these new stands. And so we're considering all that stuff. You know, this is only only so so many of us working on this stuff at the same right. time. Um, was there, was that it? I think that was it for images that was sent. I think so. Yeah. And then if you guys watch Gotham city tonight, tomorrow night, yes, uh, Dole, you'll have Alex on you guys. Alex. And I think Alice is coming back as well by popular demand. So I think it's going to be, and hopefully Lexi. So it actually might be a full, full foursome. Yeah. Uh, Alex, Alex, Alice, Lexi, me, I feel like I, I don't belong. Like I need to, my name doesn't fit in. I'm the Raphael of that group, clearly. So. 
My name doesn't. Oh, the TMNT it. stuff. Yeah, let's show that. You, did I send it to you? Uh uh. Oh, let me oh, see if no. I got it. All right. Well, Dang. we can let's let's do okay. a quick uh, plug break, and you can yeah, if you want to e email it to me. I uh, I, I got never you. got. Oh, I did get the Mad Hatter video. So send it to that other that okay. same email address. Those turtles pictures. We'll talk about. Got um. It. So we've got how many likes are we at for this giveaway? We're, we're not at the giveaway. We're at one seventy two. Damn. Oh. Well, if we don't hit two hundred, then ninety. Yeah, uh, that's a sad. Um, we've got sad comments coming up. Um, we appreciate everybody's support. If you want even more from Toy Anxiety and YHS, uh, we can uh, direct you towards Patreon, patreoncom slash Yes Have Some. Mm -hmm. uh, we did Extreme Toy Anxiety last week. Uh, the other night, Jake and I did an hour on Ghostbusters, including yep. some more behind the scenes information of our, our big reveal of Firehouse Fridays. Jacob, myself, if you guys don't know, well, you should know, but if you don't know, Jacob and myself and Abigail back in June flew all the way to London, England. That's right. A whole other country across the pond and spent three days on the set of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. And we're given access to be able to film a bunch of content. We're releasing them uh, a series of videos called Firehouse Fridays that'll start uh, this spring leading up to the release of the movie. We're super, super excited. It was an incredible opportunity. And uh, Jacob, you and I uh, got into it a little bit more for our, our Patreon folks. And yeah. uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was good. We're, we'll have a lot more, you know, as, as time goes on in the next couple of months, we're going to have more that we can reveal in there on that kind of stuff. So Absolutely. Absolutely. God, I hope so. Hey, yeah. Before, before we get to these um, uh, Ninja Turtles, I, Peter, I wanted to uh, mention. Sent, by the way something you guys do at uh designer con that i guess doesn't really it, it's it's more just for the people there at the show but something that is a very safubi uh thing that happens is you guys do a lottery and you, oh yeah and, uh i don't know if it was four three or four figures that are basically one-offs and yeah i believe you had a a groman godzilla the 89 godzilla and two different space godzillas yes they're all one-off uh paint jobs i i don't i, I don't know who's who painted what um, roman painted an original one of one uh version of his godzilla and it's a green paint yeah. app that's so good that we were talking about like should we do should we do that as a colorway? It's so good. It blew oh, me away in person, and I was really kind of like, at, "Look at Jacob's face." <laughs> yeah, I gotta tell you, I was like feeling like some kind of like weird, yeah. conflicted FOMO. Like, why can't I just fucking buy it? I work here. Like, no one has to see it. You know, <laughs> it reminded me of Swamp Thing. I loved it, but the, uh, mm -hmm. the and then the, the other ones, Godzilla's with the yeah. stars all mm -hmm. over. Everything. Candy like, Bolton, who, if you don't know, Candy <laughs> Bolton. Yeah. She's an amazing painter. She's done some one-offs for us in the past. And uh, it's like, again, it's like this electric Lisa Frank Trapper Keeper paint app that, that it's like translucent and, and it has like, like fluorescence everywhere and stars bursting out of it. It's And then the way she paints the actual, just the regular eyes is incredible. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, 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 we had four winners. The, the man, the guy who won the none of them were Jacob money. Walsh, even though I asked you, you to it. put Jacob's name into the oh, I put it in, I put it in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I watched just get Jake I one the of the guy when oh, you saw it, dude. That was such yeah. a real moment, that was such a real moment. I was like, dude, this is awesome. But I mean, like, that's the thing, like, with Safubi, there are so many Safubi out there where there are one offs or yeah. just you know, five made or something like that. So those figures look awesome. And it was like, it, it's hard not being at decon already and seeing all the stuff that's there, but it's, it's just really cool. You guys do that. And those, those one-off figures are. Thanks are, man. Are all yeah. mm -hmm. Thank you, dude. It's, it's awesome. And, and it's part of the fun of a convention. You know, I always think about how much time we spent not going to conventions for two and a half years, three years. And those moments are like the exciting things of like getting everybody to travel all this mm -hmm. way. By the way, the week before freaking Christmas. So we better have some fun and uh, do something wild like that. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. What do you got, Craig? You got him up there? Everybody I got, got him. him. I'm, right, I'm, go. I, got... <laughs> hey, come on, man. I'm trying. I, I know. People are just wondering. We also unlocked the giveaway. By the way. We unlocked the giveaway. Oh. Yeah, way to go, everyone. Uh, I'll put, we'll, we'll do a couple more minutes to enter that. Uh, I just let me put it back in the thing here. Uh, we'll get to that. This is a long episode, but you know what? We're having a great time. Well, everyone's excited. No one's complaining. Hey, Abby, do you want to see what I found? 
Yeah. Oh my God, that's us. Wow. And that wow. is my Friday features, Janine. Yes, that's amazing. That's awesome. Was that, you look so fucking good. Oh, wow. Thanks, Ryan. Look at You're us. We're wearing mesh, and I was like, I like this guy. Did you guys hear we're on set for the new movie? Nope. <laughs> Tell us all about it, Craig. I can't. But what would soon. you like to plug? <laughs> Firehouse Fridays. Oh. oh. That was so fun. Oh, all over everyone's minute. Instagram. What am I reading oh, into this? I'm we're two hours in. Hey, by the way, um, I think... <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll talk about it off the air, but we're going to do Ghostbusters Radio live this week. But we'll get there. All right, cool. Hey, Safubi. Dude, yeah. So we Turtle. announced that we're doing tur uh, TMNT soft vinyl, and uh, we showed off Leonardo, Michelangelo, and Mondo Gecko as part of our first wave, because how could Mondo Ooh. not do Mondo Gecko at the gate? Sure. And, uh, right. yep. and these things, man, like I was telling people at the, at the convention, the driving – force behind doing tmnt in a c well, nobody else is doing it you know no no one's doing tmnt that's the thing it's like the funny thing is that's what you we never said see like, it. that's what we said is like why are we gonna do tmnt like everybody's doing it. like what could you possibly do that's not being done that like fits what we do right you know and uh immediately the idea came that if we do soft vinyl we can basically recreate the feeling of owning the TM, the original TMNT figures, right? Like when you were a little kid and your hands were small, like these figures scale to your hand the way those did when you were. And I didn't even oh, think okay. about that. That's okay. cool. I didn't think about that until I got to the show and I held the, the prototype. I'm like, whoa, this is like, and I mean that like in this, like it's big, it's chunky. Mm -hmm. It's like, it, you know, it's this stout little bulldog proportions. And uh, man, it's so just satisfying in hand to it's like a nostalgic feeling like literal tactile feeling of nostalgia versus just visually color wise aesthetics. But the other thing is like what Jacob and I have been talking about all night is, you know, doing these in Safubi, we can do like awesome colorways. We can do, you know, uh, a Mirage edition where it's all black and white. You can do all the red uh, uh, bandanas. Yeah, I, was you say, I was waiting for the repaints to be announced because it makes... Yeah, you me. could do them. You could do them. And so now the same way. And by the way, look at this. This is God, this is pick. so gorgeous. Speaking, Speaking of Paul, this is love. yeah. This is another Boner City edition. <laughs> yeah, Dude, from Mondo. Absolutely. 100%. This figure proves the 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 reason to make this line. This is a James Groman designed figure. Alex Brewer did these again. The Wizard, and uh, this one to me is a special figure because I've always said like, man, why don't we just get James Groman to design some turtle figures so we can close this loop, this gap in my mind of this guy whose style is so uh entrenched in that era you know it's like it's like a formative style like we all grew up with these figures we didn't know this guy was working on this stuff and now he's got a, a career designing high-end collectibles can we just match him up with tmnt one day and so when we got the license back it's the first thing we said get groman get him on mondo gecko and let's see what that would have looked like if he had the the technology of today to make things as crisp and sharp as it can plus at this size and and with the with the feel of, of the character designs originally and it's just perfect man this thing is apps I'll, I'll pat us on the back this is perfect i'm telling you i don't yeah, think turtles great. collectors even realize how good they have it look they, at this. we're eating well yeah, yeah. turtles <laughs> i've never complained about anything with the style of these turtles in particular I'm very excited to see what you guys do with Bebop and Rocksteady. Oh, dude. Mm -hmm. And every and they're not going to all be the same size. We're doing them in scale. So, like, the Turtles and Mondo Gecko are obviously a little smaller because they're, like, the smaller characters. Crank confirmed. But we got to do Slash in scale. Oh, right? Slash, yep. Hector and I were saying openly at the convention that we just want to skip right to Ray Filet and just have oh, and yeah. Stuff nice. yeah dude gotta get ah, a stuff yes yeah <laughs> code fill killer my killer confuser my wallet's very aware how good we have it uh ray alonzo will the four turtles be released at the same time or spaced out I well well the first wave will be the like leo and mike and mondo gecko and the and the next wave we're thinking will be raft donnie and maybe ray filet or something like that and mm. uh we're going back and forth like should we do a here's a question for the crowd some Pol some interaction some crowd interaction Pol still work if we if we were gonna do a third wave and we include two turtles and an extra figure, do you think we could and should do Ray Filet or should we do we have to do a villain now because we did a good guy? I, you know what? I say do what your heart tells you. 
Uh, the, no, straight up. Because I, I know he's sincere, but it still sounds hey, funny. I know that sounds that sounds very condescending. No, it's good. I like it. But the let's put it this way: if your Ray Filet is going to look as good as the other three, just as as the three we see here, yeah. just do it. That's right? how my. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, so, in, in in case you know, to, remember how we said, is this the end of toys? Is like, in case toys ends after wave two, should it not be Ray Filet? I mean, listen, real talk. If you're doing the if the next one's going to be Donnie Raff and wh whoever, and then but what would wave three be? Would you do two turtle re-releases or just three new characters? Wave two would have to have Donnie Raff and oh, you say wave three? Yeah, because that's what you were saying. Wave three. No, maybe yeah. wave three. We start to get into Shredder. Shredder, Shredder Bebop, and Rocksteady. Maybe. Ooh. Like, so everyone buy these. Everyone buy these so we can get. I mean, that's li that's not a joke. Like it, these lines go as far as the crowd supports it. That's serious. Like we're gonna do this way for sure. And I'm, I'm, I'm desperate to see Ray. Hey, Filet, so. I did say a stuck. It just got a ignored and laughed at. Okay, I just want to point that out, Matt Bush. Thank you. But yes, awesome. wave five, a stuck, please. They feel really good, man. And I and I gotta tell you, like we were all very conscious of how much TMNT stuff is out there. So it was very, very much create something that is respectful of people's collections and of turtle fans who have everything. Honestly, they do like what is missing. Mm -hmm. And the same way we talked at the top of the show, you know, horror in Safubi fills this cool gap for people who have discovered Safubi. And if not, it's an entry point for people who never had it. It's, it's a lot of fun. This is technically Safubi. Yeah. yeah. This is technically yeah. Safubi. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, real quick. Uh, those are Peter. Those are amazing. Um, Thanks, dude. Last Broke chance to enter this, enter this contest. We're, guys, tonight was a long episode. We are winding down. Jacob, do we have sad comments tonight? Yeah, I got a few. Got a few. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do some sad comments, and then we're going to do the giveaway, and then we're going to be done. Uh, Peter, this was amazing. Um, Thanks, dudes. I love hanging out with you guys, man. I'm glad we did a convention, so I have an excuse to hang out with you guys a little dude, bit. You can, you yeah. can come on anytime. Literally. Okay. Yeah. I can't wait to see what happens with Mondo in 2024 and beyond. Mm -hmm. Me too. Um, oh, man, we have some yeah. stuff. Well, let's we give you access even... to this channel, and then you can just hop on okay. anytime you want. Good. Good. Well, there was something. I'm we'll give say you a key. I'm going to say this. I'm going to leave you guys with a little burning, a little Ooh, fun. A little, little burning, burning desire? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to, this, Craig. Yeah. You're going to smile tonight, buddy. This, this, uh, this, there oh, was something, the smile. <laughs> there was something that we were going to reveal at the show uh -huh. that would have been the talk of the show, believe okay. it or not, that would have dwarfed everything else. Okay. And because of a few legal technicalities, we had to hold it back. Okay. Okay. But boy, oh boy. And the first half of this year, if all goes according to plan. Yeah. There's going to be a big story. It's going to be a big story. Okay. Yeah. Breaking. And it's not the one, Craig. Yeah. It's not the one you're thinking about. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Stay tuned. <laughs> hey. Cool. I, I don't even know what to I, do. I don't, I, I, know no, I don't even want to say anything. Yeah. Don't say That's anything, awesome. buddy. That's awesome. Well, well, just, well, no, just, just stew on that. Everybody okay. stew on that. So, what we could say is Mondo is going to be killing it. We're going to have more uh, news and announcements coming from them, and we're all going to be paying very close attention to, to what's going on over there. Um, uh, Peter, do you want to hang out for uh, Sad Comments? Oh, fuck yeah, dude. I'll be so offended if you kick me out right now. No, I would do yeah. My favorite part yeah, of the show, to be honest with you. like when you get free food, yeah. I'm going to get, get real close for this. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> get I'm gonna real enjoy close. These. <laughs> um, all right, Jacob, what, what, what do we got going on tonight for those uh, – Interesting. I got four for tonight. Uh, two of them are very short, so we'll, okay. I'm going to do the short ones last. We'll do the longer ones first. But right. um, God, are all of these from the same place? Let me see. They're not. But uh, first one's going to be from the C-3PO and the Battle Droid two pack. The Black Series two pack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So for those who don't know, sad comments. We do it every week. We give a voice to the voiceless. We scour the internet, social media, YouTube for the latest commentary from uh, the collectors, the 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 people spending those hard earned dollars on these toys and action figures. And uh, sometimes they feel like they're shouting into a void. And we, much like we a are the void, like a megaphone <laughs> of the Dragon Con parade, we amplify the. Void. <laughs> 
<laughs> into a void. <laughs> into a void. Um, okay, so uh, Ryan, let me kill the the logo there so we can all see. Oh, what's going on over there? Hey, everyone. Um, <laughs> and uh, all right, so Jacob, I'm gonna get the music going. Sad comments. Black series two pack. Here we go. And it's coming. Taking out my jacket for this. <laughs> This is just bad. The decision making behind the scenes is so piss poor on what should have and would have sold like hotcakes. <laughs> if you just would stop hating your customers and actually included, God forbid, a second accessory. The B1 head, do better. You are driving fans away in droves over the past year. Jesus, bro. <laughs> wow. Because they wanted one more, one more accessory? Is that what they wanted? Yeah, one more accessory. I, I just had to include the hotcakes. We haven't, it's been a long time since. Yeah. We Bread. Yeah, um, should have sold like hotcakes. Hot 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 I like that. Hey, Abby, what are we eating for dinner tonight? Pierogies? Uh, yeah, little hotcakes. Pierogies filled with potatoes. Sorry, little hotcakes? For real? Yeah, yeah, we bought them today at the store. We bought pierogies. What's in there? What's in them? A I just, classic potato onion. And onion. Classic onion. You know, I potato. never had one of those, and whenever I hear it, all I think about is Men in Black. Oh, dude, pierogies. Remember? Get on it, dude. You remember that scene? What do they do with? When the guy with the little alien in his head is like meeting the other alien guy at the restaurant, and then he's oh. like, blah, blah, blah. But then the waiter comes and goes, <laughs> There you go. Uh, all right, Jake, where's this next one from? Same place. Same place. Black series. Yep. Same toys. Same toys. All right, here we go. Sad comments coming at you. W Y H S radio. I love the Black Series, but this, nobody has ever asked for a C-3PO head. It's a stupid scene to begin with. No accessories? This is just really cynical and pure disregard for the collector. Just the super battle droid with basic rocket effects? I would get two at $32 without batting an eye. You want to sell a two-pack? Pack a new Django on the Return of the Jedi Boba body with a child Boba Fett. <laughs> you would sell out in five seconds. <laughs> Sell out the second restock in 10 seconds. And then you would sell out the third restock after everyone has them. Hasbro deserves to fail. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, dude. Uh, Django Fett and Young Boba Fett two pack will be sick. It would be sick, but it also sounds like Peg Warmer of the Year to me. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey also. Um, Battle Droid with C three PO head is it's the only figure I'm gonna buy. Like I want that more than I was gonna say, this is like a fun little toy. Like of that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I like calling it cynical. Mm -hmm. This is a weird description. You <laughs> cynical bastards! <laughs> I was you cynical. deserve to fail. The, the I, I hadn't even seen this two pack, and just hearing these, I had to go look them up. I'm like, it's pretty cool. It's, it's like a little. Too, I don't know. Mm -hmm. All right, the next two are shorter ones. Um, this one's from a uh, NECA post. Right. Oh man! Shout out to Trevor at NECA. Shout out to Trevor. Specifically, NECA Trevor. made a post. They've been they've been making posts for the holidays that just like show everything yeah. in the. Oh, oh the, the yeah the, the checklist. checklist yeah the mm -hmm. checklist this was the checklist good. like the clothed uh, retro figure or not retro but just the clothed the retro uh, the clothed eight inch. Neck of fig. Okay, so this is checklist review, checklist comments. Yeah, checklist. <laughs> Michael checklist. 
The shield. <laughs> the shield. <laughs> the shield. <laughs> yeah, bro. Alright. <laughs> How can we afford stuff anymore? <laughs> When a bag of Doritos is going for seven dollars. <laughs> he forgot what account he was on. And now he's, he should be he's writing the wrong Facebook, yeah. Immediately I'm like, did they do a, a Doritos accessory for one of these figures? I don't know. About. I was like, yeah, why is it seven dollars? Is it like collectible? Yeah, I was like, what's happening down there? Is it really seven dollars down in the states for a no. bag of Doritos? No. What checklist not elicited here. the Doritos comment? Do you even remember? Yeah, yeah. the clothes, the like the clothed figures. So it's like all random. Anything that has like a, a actual soft goods, that was the check. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go to the Doritos. What kind of Doritos? Like, were they Cool Ranch? No, I'm going to the Doritos Instagram. I'm gonna find a post. I'm gonna be like, just copy Sweet and Chili though. Heat. Who can How afford? is anyone supposed to survive? Seven dollars. Who can afford anything I anymore? More. I got one more. When the last Ronin figure cost me thirty-five dollars. But there's All no right. need to collect. Every I'm looking at this checklist now. It's so like wide For ranging. Me. You don't have to get all these figures. Mm -hmm. All right, last one. All right, this cool is ranch from, Doritos right now. This is also from NECA, and it's from the like a Ninja Turtle figure. Okay. Okay. Doesn't matter. Comment yes, I like knowing the context. So I can look it up on Instagram. All right, here we go. Dudes, it doesn't stop. Broke. Food? NECA. Rent? NECA. <laughs> Toilet paper? NECA. Oh, that was a haiku. Dude. That yeah, that was well crafted. That was beautiful. yeah, that's powerful. That was really that was, nice. Because he has to buy the NECA figures. You should run that through like an AI voice generator of some like great political like statesman. Oh yeah, AFK. Yeah, yeah, do that, please. Go ahead, Jake. Yeah, he's that like was tremendous, dude. Yeah, food, NECA. <laughs> Nice. Keep Incredibly going. Incredibly poetic. Yeah. Very Thank limited, you. limited JFK impression. What, what was the thing? What was the next thing he said? <laughs> Chowda. He's like toilet. Chowda. <laughs> Don't ask. But... Do I have to buy toilet paper? <laughs> Necker. That's, uh -huh. that's not a JFK impression. That's nothing. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Isn't it the same as like Mayor Quimby? From yeah. That was, like, like, yeah. That's like that scene like Chowda. So Chowda. Chowda. Is it Martha's Vineyard Bridge guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. He's like, <laughs> I, I will not stand for NECA. Oh, Toyota there we go. It's That's something. It's there it is. Cool. Yeah, you got that. Yeah, yeah. there it is. But Craig, you Nina, did it. But a. He jumped off the Jaws bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking it's at a limited edition Doritos. All right, here we go, uh, guys. It's time for the giveaway. So I hope you entered. We have seventy-one people. This has been quite an episode. Yeah. Maybe we play the Mad Hatter video, dude. What you, you oh, shit. can handle it? No, I, we'll get to it. Okay, you're running a TI 84 there on the stream. We're two hours and 15 minutes in. We'll right. do it. Oh, okay, okay, all right. An hour, don't I'll post it on my stories. How about okay, that? Yeah, well, go to my Instagram, you can see it. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this might have to be our last episode of the year because now I'm now we're it's too much. All right, here we go. <laughs> Um, no, no, no. So it's time to do the, the, oh shit. I did a duck race instead of a monster race. That's okay. We'll yeah, it's Christmas. It's Christmas ducks. All right. So one minute on the clock. Well, how long is the video of Mad Hatter? Make it that long. All right. So guys, here's the deal. It's a duck race and the winner is going to win the two retro Star Wars figures, Chopper and Sabine, I believe. Not easy to find. Donated by Skylar Davis. Are we ready to do this? On your marks. Get set. Duck. <laughs> Duck. There's no music. All right. Well, Queen Duck. 
is in the lead. We have to make our own music. Wow, hey, the ducks go really slow, don't they? Yeah. It's quite relaxing. Fun. It's choppy waters. Yeah. This is just... <sighs> Jacob, you should read that poem again. Um, I do like food. Yeah. Yeah, you never want to be in the lead at the start, folks. Some people put their whole email addresses and social security numbers. That's interesting. How far back can you come back from? Like, does Andy Silva have a chance? Yeah, it's yeah. usually some. It's usually somebody who come. Yeah, comes from the behind. These ducks right. will surprise you. Yeah, a little strawberry duck. You, Mike Davis, you're a strawberry duck. Oh, this is really interesting. Yeah, I like your duck, Mike. All right, here we go. Brown duck. Oh, 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 here we go. This, yeah, the fix is in for Will. The fix is in. Hey, listen. Rabbit uh, McGavin's got a really six cool seconds. Duck. Rabbit McGavin. Is oh, oh, man. Man. oh, my God. <laughs> Trump's going to win. Why is there a oh, okay. oh, <laughs> <God. laughs> the Donald Trump? Why I just joined Colorado and blocked the Trump win? <laughs> yeah. All, Congrats, we're, all, these, all these ducks are headed to the Capitol. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hey, Toy Geekasaurus. It's almost, hey, it's almost January. So. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Congratulations. Slow down. <laughs> Frankly, oh, it was... Uh, that duck was a loser. Um, <laughs> another bad impression. Big league. Uh, listen. Hey, who won? Toy Geekasaurus. Toy Congratulations. Geekasaurus. Yes. Stop the race. Stop the race. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, guys. Uh, congratulations to Toy Geekasaurus. Please forward me uh, uh, DM us at Wild Podcast on Instagram or Twitter or X or whatever they call it. Preferably Instagram. And uh, send me your shipping address and we'll get those out to you. Congratulations. Big win. Big win tonight. Big stuff. Um, and uh, Huge. Oh, wait. Absolutely hold on. Rock. This is, this is breaking news. Oh, come on. The, the, the Donald Trump duck is not accepting the results of the race. <laughs> <laughs> He's challenging oh it. Oh my god! We're gonna take it, it to the courts. <laughs> um, figures it was Georgia again stealing the race. Classic. <laughs> All right, everybody. This was a lot of fun tonight. Thank you so much. I uh, saw a lot of dead ducks in that pond <laughs> racing, <laughs> trying to drain the swamp. Oh god! Hey, this was fun. Oh, um, everybody, make sure that you are following uh, Attack Peter in Mondo on social media. You guys have amazing stuff going on. Uh, for Jacob Walsh, Ryan Dole, Abigail Gardner, and myself. Everybody have a, if you celebrate Christmas, happy Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you don't, happy. Celebrate toys. Celebrate toys. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, we we watch will... Gotham City tonight, tomorrow with Alex and I. We'll talk about Bane and Spider-Man. Sculpted. 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 Bye, Sculpted. everybody. Bye, guys. Bye, Peace. Sculpted.